Move this back a little bit. Alright, Shalawam. Alright, Shalawam. We the... Okay, it's locking. Alright, Shalawam. We the brothers of the GMS Indianapolis camp. Here to preach the downfall of this wicked kingdom. You know, as always, we want to start by giving all praise, all glory, all honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do real well. And peace and salutations to you, hopeful elect brothers out there pushing this word and 100% truth and sincerity to wake up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. You know, with that being said, we just going to get it started. Uh, book of 2 Timothy? Yeah. Two. Uh, first off, you know, the, our, our beloved apostle Tahar, you know, he deemed this year the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, man. So, hey, Lord willing, hey, we coming into some times where, hey, uh, your faith, your, your, your ability to, to endure... It's going to be tested, man. So with that being said, we're just going to get started to the first scripture. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. And you know, that, that word endure, you know, goes into suffering, man. It say endure hardness. And usually, when you, like I say all the time, when you hear that word endure, that, that should let you know in itself that, hey, the things that we about to be going through are not going to be easy. You know, when people, when you hear the word endure, there's a, a, a negative, you know, con connotation to it. And, that, you know, that scripture, it said endure hardness as a good soldier. You know, soldiers, guess what? Soldiers are the epitome, you know, you know of endurance. Because, you know, they, they go through the rigorous, rigorous training. And then on top of that, hey, when they over there fighting in that war, there's no turning back for a soldier because they already there, man. So, hey, us being, you know, men of the Lord, hey, we fighting the spiritual warfare as well. So, hey, that, you got to be able to endure, you know, how that same, you know, uh, faith and the most high, man. Yeah, I got uh, something for you. Come on. Uh, this is the dictionary endure. It says to continue in the same state, last, uh, to undergo or to remain firm under suffering. Under suffering, man. So like I said, when you when you see that word, that should automatically indicate that, hey, you're going to be going through some things, man. Uh, or misfortune without yielding. Without yielding, man. So you you you, you suffering through, the, through, through those misfortune and those hard times without giving up, man. That's how you're going to have to be in these times, man. Because like I said, the, the, the our apostle to heart deemed this year the whole four year of Jacob's trouble, man. What last one? To undergo, especially without giving in. Calm. Suffer. Yep. So you read that second uh, part? Yep. Okay. Uh, no, you can call precept too. Uh, this is the book of uh, 2 Tim Timothy, chapter 2, verse 4. No man that warreth, warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, but he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. It's like I was just saying, man, we fighting a spiritual warfare, man. So it, it said you don't entangle yourself. So you don't get caught up with the things that are that are going on within your life, man. Because, you know, things like that, they can, they can, when you, when you get caught up in those things, they, they, they make you weak, man. Con, they distractions like the elder just said, man. And then also at the end of that scripture, it said, so you can please him that had chosen you to be a soldier. Because ultimately, we doing this for our salvation as well as pleasing the most high, man. Precept. <laughs> our, our, whole, our whole being, our whole essence of why we out here is to wake up the whole for elect, man. To glorify you how about shooting our shot. That's, that's, that's our fight, man. The Lord, when we are part of the elect, we are here fishing for the rest of our brothers so we can get up out of this wicked kingdom. No. No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. Go ahead. Were you want to stay in here? Uh, <clears throat> no, nah, that was it. Okay. This is Sirach, chapter 2, starting at verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. All right, man. And that scripture in itself is letting you know, hey, when you come into this truth, 
Hey, you, you, it's not gonna be something. When you come into this truth, man, that's not gonna be all, all uh, sunshines and rainbows, man. That's gonna be hardships you have to deal with. Things, things may get harder within your life, man. And you, you gonna have to deal with it. Set thy heart all right and constantly endure. In your heart, you know, going into your mind. Hey, so you gotta get your mind right, man. It's a constantly endure. And like we were saying earlier, when you endure and you suffering uh, through those misfortunes without giving up, man. And make not haste in the time of trouble. That's why it's important that you, you pray to the Lord you, that, that he uh, that He keeps those, his spirit on you, man. Because, hey, when things are getting rough, you can't be getting frantic, you know, and uh, making decisions, you know, off your emotions, man. Because that lead you, that ultimately can lead, to, lead you to your destruction. You can't be getting frantic and going crazy, you know, when things are getting trouble, man. You got to think back and revert back to these scriptures, man. And, and, and also seek counsel. God. You know, when, 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 when you're going through trouble in your life, man, seek, seek counsel from brothers. Hey, the, the Lord uh, might have put a brother in your camp through that situation that you're going through. All right? And through the Spirit, you know, he might have help, be able to help guide you through it, man, through the Spirit, you know? But we always supposed to see counsel, man, and wise counsel too. Don't call your uncle who in the world, he don't know shit. God. You know, don't call him cuz uh, 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 Pete. All right, he don't, he, don't, he don't know nothing either, man. Call the man of the Lord for counsel, man. you know? Got it? Cleave unto him and depart not away. All right, when things are getting rough, like I was just saying, you, you got you to gotta depend on the most high. You know, you can't be getting weak, you know, depending on those who are not in this truth. Hey, and that, cause like I said, that'll ultimately lead you out this truth and lead you to your destruction, man. You know, when things are getting hard, you can't be getting, you know, faint-hearted and weak. That's why the scriptures say, "Woe to them that are faint-hearted, man." Precept. Hey, cause when things are when thing, when the going gets uh gets tough, hey, that, those those people that are faint-hearted, they get weak and they 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 back out. We can't be in that spirit, man. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, that's why uh, Apostle Paul said in uh, someone that's like Corinthians, he said, "For we're not weak, we're not strong." Huh. See, because ultimately, you know, at your lowest moment, at your weakest points, man, that's where true strength is shown. God. You know, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That's what that's what we here for, man. To ultimately <laughs> obtain that salvation, man. To get increased, man. Oh, that's it on that. You can go. Uh, no, you can keep going. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whatsoever, uh, Sor Salaki. This is uh, back in Sirach chapter two, starting at verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Why is that, man? Because when, hey, when the Most High is dealing with you, hey, he gonna he gonna chastise you sometimes, man. It's, that's what the, according to the scriptures, man. You know, if the Most High is putting you through those things, he's dealing with you as sons, man. And ultimately. We going through these things to be made better, man. We going through this adversity and these uh, fiery trials to be made better, man. Uh, uh, okay. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. It's state. Uh, for gold is tried in the, in the fire and acceptable in men acceptable men acceptable men in the furnace of adversity all right and as we know you know when gold is put through that fire hey, hey that fire is used as a cleansing agent man it's getting all those impurity impurities out that's why the scriptures talk about the fiery trials man because hey when we going through these things hey man we we getting put through that fire and we ultimately being made better for the most high man keep going Seven. It says that the trial of your faith being more precious than of gold, that precious, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, so we're going to go through these trials and tribulations. The Lord's going to test us, man. Precept. We're all going to be tested in the truth. All right, and, 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 and sometimes we might fail the test, man. He's like, why is this happening again? Because you didn't pass it the first time. All right, so the Lord testing us, man, uh, and put us through those fiery trials to get those impurities out of us, man. All right, when you when you when you when you put gold in fire, it removes all the impurities out of it. All right, and, and, and it shines. 
All right, we want to, we, in the time of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man, we want our impurities to, to, to pretty much be gone, man. Uh -huh. All right, we, we want to be on the straight and narrow. We want the Lord to say, my, my well and faithful servant, man. All right, and, and it's coming, you know? This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 48 and verse 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. So, you know, also, hey, that fire that the scriptures speak upon, you know, when it says, uh, uh, be not, uh, 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 when the scriptures speak upon the fiery trials, when it talks about being tried in the furnace, and that fire or that heat is likened to affliction. You know, yep. as the brother just read in the Sirach, the second chapter, that what? Acceptable men tried in the furnace of adversity. Uh, all right. So ultimately, <clears throat> like what fire does with gold, fire burns out all those uh, uh, impurities. That's within gold, man. You know, ultimately, the scriptures call the men of the Lord towards gold. The Lord said he would make a, a, a man all right, finer than the uh, golden wedge of Ophir. A man of the Lord at that. And he's doing that uh, by putting his man through uh, trials, tests, and tribulations, man. You know? So ultimately, those trials, tests, and tribulations are ultimately set up, all right, before the faces of the men of the Lord so that the Lord can mold them into the perfect men of the Lord that he wants them to be according to their life, you know? You know, and everybody ain't going to be able to deal with, with these afflictions uh, that the men of the Lord are going through, man. This is the book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 40. It says, and to him they agreed. <laughs> And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shah and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Come, we, you know, uh, us men of the Lord, hey, we going to be, some of us might be going through those same things that they was going through here in this, the verse the uh, uh, elder just read, man. Hey, you got to be willing you know, to die for the most high, man. You got to be willing to suffer for the most high, man. Because ultimately, he he suffered for us. At, 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 it's like at the beginning, man. He suffered for us. So we got to be able to do the same thing, man. And willing, be willing to do suffer for the most high, man. Not doing it grudgingly. Uh, Precept. 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 Finish on that. It says, huh? It said, verse 41, it says, And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple and in every house, they ceased not to teach the, to teach and preach Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Con, so, when, hey, when they was going through them things, hey, they hey, guess what? They leaned on the most high. They did not give up on the most high, man. And like I was saying, we got to be this. We coming into into some uh, tumultuous times, man. So hey, we gonna have to be in that same spirit, not not giving up on the Most High when the when the going gets tough, you know. If I may add to your point real quick, brother, uh, just uh, you going into how you know Yahweh Shai he laid down his life for us, you know. <clears throat> Yahweh Shai suffered manifold things for his elect, man. And it, even Yahweh Shai told his disciples what he said: No greater love. <clears throat> has the man for his friend is to lay down his life. Exactly. You see, now also, hey, Yahweh Shai, he laid down his life back then to be, first and foremost, the elected nation of Israel, and, you know, later down the line, the whole nation of Israel. All right, we understand that the elected are going to uh, 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 be covered under the blood of our Lord Yahweh Shai on this side, you know, but hey, even in today's time, okay, the Lord has rose up certain men, okay, and they're, uh, like the scriptures say, giving up their bodies as a living sacrifice, putting their life on the line for our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, and it's ultimately, hey, it's going to uh, uh, take it to even death, man. Because he ultimately, hey, according to prophecy in Revelation the 20th chapter, excuse me, in Revelation the 20th chapter, there's going to be martyrs of Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, who's going to die for his name's sake? <coughs> That's it. <coughs> yes, I'm. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3. Verse 11, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. Uh, so hey, it said despise not. So, hey, when you going through them things, you can't be getting mad and angry. Hey, when, when, you, when you going through them, man, because like I was saying earlier, when you when the most high he dealing with you, hey, he going to put you through the he going to put you through the ringer sometimes, man. He going to put you through some uh, some fiery trials, man. Dealing with your own kids, man, without just tied to there's no improvement, there's no learning. You know? You tell your son, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. 
I'm gonna do that. <laughs> After a while, you gotta get up and spike his ass. <laughs> give, him, give him an understanding, man. You know, the same with the Lord with us, man. You know, someone's hard headed. They don't, we don't wanna listen. Lord gotta, hey, tap us, man, on the show. Hey, get it right. Uh, you know? Going into the scripture that say, uh, He that uh, spared the rod hated his son, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, it's also like the brother quoted earlier, Hey, whom the Lord loved, he chastened. Huh? <laughs> yeah, last, part, last part. Um for whom the Lord loveth he he correcteth he, even as a father the son in whom he delighted. All right, so the brother, you know, cannot he just just brought that out as an example, man. Hey, you got you have a father in the flesh. Hey, when you when you doing stuff that's stupid and not right, hey, what happens? Your father he he uh he whoops your ass out. Uh, your father is supposed to whoop your ass, man. And the same thing, the most high, hey, when you when you going off, when you not doing the things you are supposed to do, hey, the most high is gonna do the same thing, man. Cause because ultimately, you know, when when a child doesn't have uh that correction in their life, hey, they they be going crazy and going being all over the place, be all fucked up, man. So we hey, us and the truth, hey, we gotta have we gotta deal with that same thing, man, when we go off and things like that. Because oh, look, look at these knuckleheads around the world, man. Especially, look at Israel, man. Huh. All right? Look, all, all these fatherless boys out here, man, they all mostly whacked up, messed nice. up in the head, you know? <laughs> That's why they, why they killing each other so fast. They, they, they don't have no guidance, man. All right? The test is part of our guidance through this truth, man. Okay. To help us grow. Yeah. You know, to be better men. All right, I got a hot one. Too. Yeah, this yeah, this is um the book of Proverbs twenty nine fifteen. Uh, the rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother shame. Yeah, so just uh just like what brother saying, like when you being corrected, you know the rod of correction, whether it be through the physical or through the scriptures, but then um in a physical sense, when you're not being corrected as a child. And you go out in the world and you do stuff that brings shame to your your family. You, know? you you can tell the difference between a, a kid that get the ass up and a kid that don't, man. Because mm -hmm. hey, because so. hey, a child a, a child that uh, that that <laughs> don't get co uh, corrected <laughs> and things like that. Hey, they be wild and all over the place, man. And you you can like I say, you can see the difference between a child that gets uh, whoopings and a child that don't, man. <laughs> Hey, look, look, look at the little boy, these little rapping little boys, six, seven years old. Yeah. Plus, they're acting for, I hate my mom, I hate my dad. I'm gonna need his ass whooped, man. A good ass whooping, too. You know? That's why, that's like y'all would say, that's why when you would see a kid acting fool in school, hey, what would the adults or you know, the teachers say nine times out of ten? Oh, he ain't got no home training. Yep. You know? Cause like like the brother Thabo Wong just going into, you can tell what child gets their ass whooped and who don't. <laughs> That's it. That's all. Okay. So the book of James, chapter one and verse two. It says, My brother encountered all joy when you when you fall into divers temptation. Knowing that the trying knowing that the trying of your faith works with patience. Nah, you supposed to be happy when uh not you know crazy happy but hey when you going through those things if you understand you you know that the, if you in these scriptures you know that the most high is dealing with you man if you out here uh prophesying you know uh in truth man when you going through those things you understand that hey the most high he might be correcting you because you you probably went off at some point man that's why you know you hear brothers all the time they say even if if something is little as stubbing your toe Hey, they they praying to the uh, to the Most High, asking for forgiveness, man. Just in case they did something that they wasn't fully aware of. Precept. <laughs> but let let the pa but let patience have her perfect work. Right? And that word patience in that scripture goes into suffering. All right, just like this brother was going to man, and then say count it all joy because hey, the Lord could have just smoked you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Lord could have just hey, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm done with him. You know what I'm saying? I could have flipped through any, anything, you know, hey, the, 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 it's a thousand ways, a thousand million ways the Lord can kill you, you know? It says, have a perfect work, that you may be perfect and tired one nothing, all right? 
So we gotta let that, that we gotta go through that cipher, man. We gotta go through these trials, man. It's, it's a part of this walk. Right, I'm gonna jump down to verse 12. Right, you know, that's a beautiful point the brother just made, man. Cause hey, the, the, this this is the creator we talking about, man. Hey, if he want, like he said, if he, if the most high wanted to smoke you, he could do that in an instant, man. Without without no rhyme, without like no without even trying, man. So hey, if the most high is not uh, dealing with you, you know, inst like instantly, hey, that should tell you something, man. You should be happy that the most high ain't smoking you, man. Give you a chance to get it right. Con. <laughs> right, so, back in James, I'm jump down to 12, it says, Blessed is the man that endure temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Mm -hmm. okay, That's right, so, uh, so, uh, finish it up. Yeah. What the Lord have promised to them that love him. All right, so back to that word endure, man. Enduring that temptation, suffering, you know, without giving up. Because ultimately, we know, hey, us man in the truth, Hey, we know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. We, right, we doing this, you know, for a greater purpose, to wake up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel and to get salvation, to get that crown placed up on top of your head. And like the brother said earlier, the most high telling you, well, good, well, well done, thy good and faithful servant, man. That's 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 got to be a, a amazing feeling to hear the creator say something to, uh, like that to you, man. Because, hey, that lets you know that, hey, you, you did your job on this side. Through all, all these, you know, this wickedness, you know, wickedness as, as at an all-time high. Ultimately, he chose you, and you, you did your job, you know, preaching this word in 100% truth and sincerity, man. Because, mm, you know, when you go into that word, endure, endure literally means make hard. So, uh -huh. ultimately, the Lord is hardening his men all right, for the ultimate temptation that's ahead, which comes in the form of what? The MOTB. Yep. You know? <laughs> Uh, Job chapter 11 and verse 6 it says and that he would show thee the secret of wisdom that they it said that they are double that which that which he is known therefore that Yahweh executed of thee less than thou iniquity deserved mm. all right so hey even when you going even though you know it may seem like hey that you the, the the things that you are facing that you they they you not it's like <laughs> I know what I want to say. I just it, 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 it says, uh, Job 11 and 6, it says, And that he would show thee the secret of wisdom, that they are double to that which is which he is. Know, therefore, that God's, that Yahweh executed of thee less than thou iniquity deserveth. All right, so like I was, I was, I was about to say, <laughs> hey, when you going through these things, and they may seem like they unbearable, Hey, the scripture says it's a light affliction, man. And ultimately, like the scripture just said, we we getting that less than what we deserve, man. Cause hey, we 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 been in a state where we fully wicked on this side, man. So hey, we ultimately we deserve more than that, man. But the most high has that 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 uh that mercy on us, man. So so when you going through them things, <laughs> hey, like we brought this up, you know, yesterday during Bible study, things could be worse for you. Because, uh, uh, brother Wright, man, because how many brothers can say they, that they woman was a virgin when they popped? You know, these, these are sins that are worthy of death. Yep. You know? Working on Sabbath. Yeah, working on, yeah, God. You know, these are sins that are worthy of death, man. The Lord, you know, the, the Lord know our heart. Hey, but the, the Lord could have smoked us for these things, man. That's why you got to be careful when you when you try to, when the people, these people who come in and change the doctrine and say certain things, uh, uh, blasphemy uh, 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 onto the scriptures, man. All right, because the Lord can smoke you, man. You already showed, showing us mercy day by day. All right. Because you understand the condition of it. Done. Seeing th hey, stuff like that, examples like that, man, that's why we need you, how we shot. Done. So for all you cats that say in the laws, the statutes, the commandments, here it is, the scripture say, if, if you have been in the least point uh, of the law, rough paraphrase, you're guilty of all. Yeah. So none of us in this wicked flesh are can keep the law perfectly, man. You know? That's, that's why the most high has grace, man. It says when well, his grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. It's just enough. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. On, this is uh, the book of Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 13. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, our God, has punished us less than our iniquity deserved, 
has given us such deliverance as this. So ultimately, at the end of the day, man, we understand, you know, according to scripture, that ultimately most high Yahweh Bashim Yashai can punish us far more than what he does when we go through certain things, right? Because ultimately, hey, we're bearing the indignation of the Lord, all right, which indignation goes into what? Righteous anger. We're bearing the righteous anger of the Lord, according to Micah 7 and 9, because what? Because we have sinned against Yahweh Bashim Yashai. That's right. See, our sins are the, 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 the main reason why we suffer. And even going back to uh, uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the Lord said, look, if you fail to hearken unto my voice and don't keep my law, and commandments, then all these curses are going to fall upon you. You know, and we still uh, we still suffer those curses today. You know, but also the main reason why we suffer is because of our sins transgressions. Hey, we, hey, we don't know what we did in our past lives. Now, the scripture says there's no remembrance of former things, man. So ultimately, it's something that we could have done in our past lives that justifies the Lord killing us, man. But ultimately, he has mercy upon us. <clears throat> That's it. Okay, uh, this book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, Before it said... Okay, I'm sorry. I got you. <clears throat> this is uh 1 Corinthians <clears throat> chapter 10 and verse 13. It says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the most high is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. All right, so ultimately, you know, when 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 you going through those things, hey, that's why it's important to be be, be in these scriptures, man. Because hey, if you if you if you going through these things, hey, in the back of your mind, you should know that the Most High is gonna make a way for you to escape, man. You know, the, ultimately, the Most High, He not gonna put you through some things in your life that He know you can't handle, man. The Most High is not gonna do that to you, man. <laughs> You know, so if, if you going if you going through some things and you 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 understand these scriptures, it, it, it's of the Most High's will, and he gon he gon deliver you out of those troubles, man. Got another precept. Uh, Anybody else hold it? Yeah. This is uh, the book of Second Peter, chapter two and verse nine. It says, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. God, the Most High is always. It said first off, it said he knows how to deliver the godly. So you you got to be a, a, a that got to be you know he got to be have chosen you first off and he said he know uh, how to deliver the godly out of temptation so the Most High is always gonna make a way for his uh, uh, his elect you know those they have chosen to escape out of troubles man it says um and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished all right so for those of you that that are out here being wicked. Hey, the most high, no, he he got, he got, even if you might not face your destruction, you know, immediately, the most high, he's building up that tab on you, man. He's got, he's reserving you for that ultimate, you don't know, it's like it, <laughs> the ultimate day of destruction, man. Yeah, please, sir. Uh, you had one, right? Uh, this is the book of uh, Romans, chapter 5, and verse 3. It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation, also knowing and tribulation is worth of patience, and patience experience, Precept. and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of Yahweh is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. All right, so we know that, hey, we rejoice in that tribulation, on that, 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 that tribulation and suffering is a building of our faith. All right, we, 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 you know, we go through these, these fiery trials, and we make it through these things, they are faith builders, man, you know? Uh, so, like the brother said, man, so, uh, everybody can't, everybody not going to be able to go through the same thing, man, but the Lord said he's not going to put more on you than what you can bear. All right? So this brother's tribulation might be rougher than my tribulation, you know? But it's a building up of, of our faith, man, you know? And that experience, all right? And then, then with that experience, you, you, you become a, a, a wiser, all right? So, like I said, what well, like I said earlier, man, right, uh, you got elder brothers in the camp who, who, who's been through these fiery trials, who, who, who has that experience whose faith is built up and, and, and you go to those brothers for counsel and their brothers build you up through the spirit you know they have that experience you know they, they journeyed as it says in the uh, 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 apocrypha man you know Con, that's why also why it's important to stay in the scriptures man because hey we have multiple examples of things to look back on man of people to, the uh the most high you know they got set up as examples man you know job was the ultimate you know example 
of uh, having that endurance and that faith in the Most High, man, because he got he got everything taken away from him, man. Yahweh Shah. Yeah, ultimately, yeah, Yahweh Shah, of course. No, but like I was saying, you know, Job is a is a, a perfect example, man, because he, like I said, he had he had everything taken away from him, his, his all his 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 goods, you know, his family, all everything was stripped away from him, but he 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 stayed. And he remains, uh, remain, you know, cleaving out unto the most high, man. So, we, hey, us, we have those things to look back on, you know, when things are getting rough, man. We right. got to be in that same spirit. You got to be willing to lose it all for the most high, man. Because ultimately, you know, these things, they, even though they may seem like all these 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 materialistic and they, the carnal things, they don't matter because they're going to be burned up, man. And, and, it, and even if you feel like they did matter, they don't matter more than the most high. Second Corinthians chapter four and uh, verse beginning of verse sixteen it says, "For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day." All right. So even though you may be getting getting whooped on the outside, man, hey, we ultimately know that, and we ultimately know, you know, if you're in these scriptures, you know that we being made better, man. You being renewed day by day, man. You getting all them impurities out. Hey, so it, it, even though it may seem like you suffering non-stop hey sometimes you got to look at that as a good thing man because the most high dealing with you like we've been saying and so, also just want to say something? No, no. And also that our man goes into the old man uh, that mm -hmm. man who, who you once were that's what's perishing because it says can you read that over uh second corinthians 4 and 16 for which cause we faint not can you read the verse above that okay uh second corinthians 4 and 15 it says for all things are for your sakes <coughs> That that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of the most high. For which cause we faint not, uh -huh. but though our outward man perish. Right, the outward man is that, that old man, mm -hmm. all right? The man that, 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 that you were before you was in the truth. He's perishing because what? You're not always giving unto him anymore, mm -hmm. all right? You're feeding your inward man, you're feeding your spirit, all right? The what? The thanksgiving of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, all right? Through the spirit, go ahead. It says, uh, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Right, and that inward man is who? The, the, the new man, all right? The, the man that you are walking in this truth, all right? You're no more Dante, or you're no more Thomas, or you're no more uh, 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 Dion, you know? Now you're now you're Barak, now you're Amawan, or now you're Kanak, you know? That's 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 the man that you, that you that, that's the new man that you become, okay? Uh, that's why the scriptures say, you know, if any man come into the Most High, he, he is a new creature, man. Yep. Hey, cause that that old man, hey, he 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 wasn't in the truth, man. He didn't understand these scriptures, man. So ultimately, you know, he that old man could have been doing anything wicked, you know. So hey, when you come into this truth, you know, if, if you have them same them same habits, them same characteristics, hey man, you need to be examining yourself, cause all all those old things are so supposed to, supposed to be passed away, man. So, hey, man. When you go into that word new, the word new in the Greek is what kinos, meaning made afresh or refreshed. Yeah. So ultimately, hey, like the elder going into, the outward man being the old man is perishing because what? Ultimately, when you come into this wisdom knowledge and understanding, that new man is being patterned after the righteousness of the scriptures, man. Uh, I got a couple more verses. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. But for a moment. <laughs> These And they, they, he called them light afflictions, man. So even though they may seem rough, hey, the Most High is not, like we was reading earlier, the Most High is not punishing you as much as he could, man. They say they light afflictions, man. So, hey, you, you got to understand that, man, that, the, hey, this, this ain't the worst it can get. And you got to you gotta gird your loins up like a man, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> it is a light affliction because... If you're in the scriptures, man, you look at the prophets of old and, and the God. trials and tribulations they went through, man. This thing, the stuff you're going to can't even compare to it, man. Yeah. You know? They, they call they call hell for this truth, man. We catch a hell too, but you know, hey, brothers are going through some things, you know, some, some unseemly things, man. But the prophets of old, man, they really caught it, bro. God. You know? They died for this truth, some was stoned to death. You know? Limbs were torn apart. Yeah, man, scalped. You know, 
put it in the furnace. You know, they have to have the faith of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, hey, 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 hey. Just be, how many brothers can say they got that type of faith? You throw them in the furnace, bro, man. I was just about to say that. You know what I'm saying? And you still rejoice in Yahweh Shai, man. You know? That's why we got to go through this cipher to build our faith up, man, to have that type of faith. They, they won't waver. All right, like I talk about in the book, uh, like uh, it's talked about in the book of James, man. All right, they won't wave to and fro like like a a a a, a wave, huh? Like a wave to the sea. Yeah, you know. So the double man of man is unstable in all his ways. We want to be one minded, man. The Lord can do deliver us through anything, man. Mm -hmm. You know. You got it. You got it. Nah, no, that's bad. That the uh what the brother was naming off, man. Them is some horrible deaths, man. Yeah. Bro, do you understand the amount of faith, you know, you have to have in the most high to endure them things, man? That's not, that's not nothing. Bro, that's that's a horrible death, man. And even through those things, they were still calling out on Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. That's right, bro. Let's not forget the Lord only requires you have a, 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 just as much faith as a, as a mustard seed. You know? God, you know? God. So the Lord's not even requiring you to have this big, gigantic skyscraper full of faith, you know? He says, hey, listen, a faith... Uh, 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 what did it say? It says a uh, man who had faith in the mustard seed yeah. is able to move mountains, yeah. you know? So the Lord just wants you to, that's why the scripture in the book of Hebrews 11 says, uh, what? It says, uh, 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 without faith, it's impossible, without faith to it's impossible to please him, you know? You know, because before you come to the truth, you must firstly believe what he is, he is. and he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Right? God. God. So you guys actually have to believe in your how about she now shot before, first and foremost, before anything. All right, you can't just get in here and just be like, oh, I'm gonna start my walk, and then like, oh, I'm gonna just start my walk and see where it leads me. If you don't believe, then you, you just, you just, uh, the script sounds like you're just a man that wipe a looking glass, you know? Because you ain't deceiving nobody but yourself. That's right. Lord, the say, be, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, man. <laughs> All right, like the elder going to, man. A lot of people, a lot of people put on the hits, you know? A lot of people, a lot of people act like they down, but they really ain't down, bro. And that's why they fall out, man, because they didn't believe in the first place. Uh, All right, exactly. huh? Exactly. Yeah, you know they didn't. They didn't. They didn't have that foundation to believe in how about Shema and Shai, man. All right, that's why. That's why brothers be, be, be getting vetted. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have to be. You have to prove yourself. All right, you have to be proven. Even, even within the camps, you have to be proven. All right, got to get down for your crown. Yeah, bro. I mean, really, to be honest, in, in anything in life, you get you get proven. Huh? You know, yes, your job, right. you get a probation period. That's why you yeah. have a ninety day thing, or yeah. you know. Where you can get the benefits and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, a woman, you know, she gonna like, wanna go out on a X amount of dates. You know, she wanna know, you know, I've been around you and shit like that before she, you know, sometimes, sometimes you get the box right away. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. a traditional, you know, when women have some type of, you know, way about them, you know, you have to get to know them or whatnot. You know, but basically what I'm saying is you gotta get proven. Everything has to get proven, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> so who are you to think you just gonna come in this thing and just think like, oh Lord, you can trust me? Like, you haven't seen nothing, you know? That's why we read when, as we were reading um, Sirach, uh the second chapter. It says, don't think that, you know, hey, listen, when you come to serve me, you know, I'm going to put some hell on you. Yeah. You know, I'm going to bend you. I'm going I'm to I'm kick you down a few times, man. Just, I'm going to, you know, just before, uh, 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 what is the, the infamous, you know, we watch cartoons. Right before they they, they, they go over that bridge, what they, they stomp on it, they kick it, you know, making sure the bridge and the boat mm -hmm. is cool, sturdy. Yeah. sturdy, you know. So we're going to shake up some things in your life, man. That's right. Uh, and that's why it's important. You know, that's why we we, we stress the importance of faith, man. Because hey, hey, if you don't have faith, man, you you don't got nothing at all. If you don't have faith, man, because that's ultimately how we gonna get you know delivered up out of this place through our, through our faith, man. Hey, because you know Noah, he prophesied for all that time, you know, and nobody was hearing him, man. And he he still he still through all them things, he still didn't turn his back, and he still didn't give up, you know, on the Most High, man. He had, to, years. Con, he had that he had that unshakable and unwavering faith in the most high you know and if even if you feel like you are lacking in those things hey guess what pray to the most high that he 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 gives you gives you more faith man because mm -hmm. in the book of james he said he he gives faith to all to 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 it's like somebody grab it for me i don't know uh, this is uh <clears throat> james chapter one and uh verse one the verse five it says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the most high that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Right, so that word liberty goes mm -hmm. into free. All right? So Jake, Jake be lacking wisdom, don't even pray to the Lord, man. Don't even be wondering how that build up, man. And, and notice, notice also, man, faith is a gift. 
All right, from the Lord, man. Everybody not gonna get that gift mm -hmm. of faith. All right, you know, you, like I said, you, you got people come in and, 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 and put on the hits and, 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 and fake the <laughs> funk. All right. So I couldn't say he didn't endure them to the end, man. Because the, 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 the true man of the Lord are going to endure all these trials and tribulations that's coming, man. All right? We're we going we, we gonna, uh, we to believe in you. How about Shema Shai, man? All right? When they come in with that ultimate temptation that's coming. All right? That's going to separate the man from the bulls. All right? That's going to that's gonna separate the, the faithful from the, from the faithfulness, man. All right? Who going to stand for you? How about Shema Shai that day, man? You know? Lord willing, we are some of those men, man. Lord willing, the Lord have our faith built up that we that we are we are a part of the elect that's gonna withstand it through that temptation, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but a lot of people are gonna fall by the wayside, man. Uh, you know, because uh, it's it's easy to say. You don't uh, you don't have to finish that. Uh, you don't have to finish it. Yeah. Okay. You know, like I said, it's easy to say. You know, it's easy to say that you're not gonna turn your back. On the most high when 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 that adversity is not right in front of your face, man. It's easy to say that you got faith when when this when it, when them things are not right in front of your face. So when when what that's why it's important that when you going through them things, hey, you pray that the most high keep you, man, and you keep that spirit on you, man. That's right. Man. I was just, uh, I was like, I talked to my woman about this, man. You know, it's easy to say people. It's people. It's easy people to say they got faith when things are going well. Yep. All right. But what about when trouble comes? What's your faith then? You know, that's what's important. You know, like the brother was going to the job, man. All right. When trouble came, he kept his integrity. Yeah, how about Shimon Shai? He kept his faith in the Lord, man. All right. And the Lord blessed him tenfold, man. By everybody around him, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and we in that time now, bro. You, you think you think everybody around us not doubting us? You know, you think, you think the world, your woman, your family, they doubting this. They doubting our walk. All right, because because it doesn't line up with the status quo of what the world believes, man. All right, but we, hey, we gotta believe in you. How about Shima and Shai, man? Go ahead, come at it. All right, it's about to be time to put put your money where your mouth is. That's right, man. bro. Like I said, it's it's, e it's easy to say. It's easy to say, but when things are going, when the going gets tough, hey, who's gonna, who's really gonna stand for the Most High, man? That's right, bro. Tough to get going. Hey, cause what happened uh, when your Yahushua got taken? Hey, what? Well, first and foremost, what happened before your Yahushua got taken? He told Peter, "Look, Peter, there's gonna come a time where you're gonna deny me three times." Yep. And Peter was like, "Look, Lord, I ain't gonna deny you. You know me. I ain't gonna deny you." And when the time came, all right, and, 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 and the people. Uh, 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 was uh, after your house shy, uh, after they came for you, how was shy, and they was going for your house shy's followers as well. It's like, look, look, he that he being Peter, he was among them as well. He's like, man, no, I wasn't. I told you, niggas, I wasn't with him. You know, he he, he denied the Lord three times exactly like the yeah. Lord said. So yeah. just just to back up the point, like the brothers going into, it's easy to say what we will and won't do. Because also Peter said he wasn't going to deny the Lord, but he did exactly what the Lord said he was going to do. You know, the Lord do uh, what's name was going to betray him. Judas is scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he sent them off his way. So yeah. Go, go fulfill that, uh, go fulfill that deeds. Yeah. Rough you know? No, this, this ain't finna be the ultimate temptation for no reason, man. Hey, when, when you, when you, when you don't have, if you don't take that, you know, potato chip or whatever, hey, if you don't have the ability to eat and you see your kids starving, man, and then and you hungry, your stomach in your back, like my parents used to say, hey, what are you, what are you going to do, man? Are you are you gonna give up on the Most High, or are you gonna have that faith that He gonna uh, deliver you through the, the through them rough times, man? About my head, you know, who know, the Lord could uh, uh, bring a bird to bring you food, you know, or anything, <laughs> anything, bro. He can have the Lord. You know, you're dealing with a power that can really he bends the laws of physics for his elect's sake. Huh. You know, the Lord can have you, let's say you don't, let's say you eat a meal once a month, but the Lord might have it where that meal sustains you for that whole entire month. Yeah. You know, he might have it where that food digests slowly enough to sustain you for 30 days. You know, that's the type of power we're dealing with, man. The Lord's has been laws, has been, uh, 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 uh. And when I talk about laws, I'm talking about laws of physics, you know, yeah. for his elect's sake, man. Let the sun in the sky, you know, men, uh, 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 as the uh, as the Ooh, brother yeah. has said, could uh, men through minutes of uh, furnaces and not die, you know. 
had a, a, a poisonous, venomous uh, serpents bite men and they, and they still walk around, you know? Uh, you, you gotta think, man, how how shameful, you know, would you feel if you, you did all this work, you ran that marathon, but the finish line 20 meters away and you gave up. How would you, imagine the amount of shame you would feel, <laughs> man, if you knew you was right there and at the last minute, all that work, all that, all them things you did was for, for not, man, for no reason, in vain, man. That's right. gonna be a terrible, shameful feeling, man. And uh, Lord willing, I don't, I don't have to deal with that. Lord willing, the Most High keeps the spirit on all of us brothers up here, man. Right, so we don't have to feel that, feel that, that shame, man. Just uh, land back off the head of Gabaria. Yeah, man, because the Lord can give you the stomach of a bear. All right, what, what, what a bear eats a lot, Hibernate. and he goes and hibernates. Yep. And he's, he's slow, it's, it's his body slowly eats off that food, man. For for the whole, what is, what is, what the whole winter? Yeah. You know? He slowly digests that food, man. Now, he's weak, you know, when he get out of there, but hey, the Lord will be bringing him through it. You know? I got a precept to it. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, and verse 13. It says, Therefore does say the Lord power, Behold, my servant shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, and ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, and ye shall be ashamed. All right, so we, the Lord gonna we, the Lord gonna take care of His man. Precept. All right, we don't have to worry about how we gonna eat, how we gonna have something to drink. The Lord gonna make sure that we straighten him. Huh? All, right, all we gotta do is trust and believe in Him, and keep our faith, man, and don't fold. You know, we, we just we, we can't fold. You know, that's why you, you gotta you gotta have a mindset. Everything else is nothing but this truth is everything. You know, did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This truth is everything, man. This truth is is is, is, is the truth is my my, my uh, life preserver, man. You know, without this, I'm gonna drown. Without this, I don't have nothing. You know, I was just contemplating on that earlier. You know, laying across the couch, I was like, man, what would I be without the truth? You know, what what, what would my life be like if the Lord hadn't woke me up, man? You know, if I was just walking around, think I'm living life like the rest of these niggas, man. You know? But the truth is, is, is my everything, man. And I put it out, you know, to the best of my ability, hey, I put every, I put the Lord above everything, man. Wife, kids, job, whatever. You know? Because I know that there, 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 there's a greater reward waiting on me, man, for my sacrifices, man. For my suffering, for my pain like these brothers are going into, man. For our suffering, the Lord has a greater reward for us, man. Uh, everything we're going through, all these fiery trials and tribulations that we're going through and are going to go through, it's going to be all worth it, man. You know? To receive that crown. You know? I got it. This is uh, first, first Peter chapter 4, starting in verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Lord, bring it up again. Go what? You got it, bro. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some, some strange thing happened unto you. You going? You got it, bro. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so like the brothers is going into, you know, don't 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 get surprised when you're going through tribulation. Don't get dismayed. Keep going. Cause that, that that crown is worth fighting for. You know, this truth is worth fighting for. And it, it, it's gonna take everything you got, you know. Uh verse 13, but rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Ham Hamashiach suffering. You know, as Hamashiach suffered, so will we. You know, so um uh you know he he suffered. So we as as servants or partakers or uh joint heirs we're gonna suffer as well sure. that when his glory shall be the well, scripture says the uh the servant is not greater than his master uh -huh. so, so if our lord you know the howard shy if he went through the things that he went through you know and it tried and it tried him to see you know where he was at it, it's not his uh his, his friends his servants gonna go through the same thing mm -hmm. the answer is yes yeah all right because we got to be tried. We got to make sure, you know, the Lord got to make sure are we really for this thing. Or are we just mouth servants, man? Try, bro. You know? Yeah, we're doing the works right now, you know, but right now we got to think, but the hour of temptation is not here yet, you know? Scripture says, uh, when we read the hour of temptation, it says what? It, it shall come upon the world to try it. 
you know? And then they dwell therein, you know? And it's gonna try everybody, you know, to see, are you really, you know? I hate, I hate to quote it, but that was, you know, man, it was, it, was, it was actually a profound statement. Kanye West said, he said, would you believe what you believe in if you were the only one that believed in it, yeah. you know? So some people basically saying that some people only believe in it because it has a mass amount of following. Or because of other people, or because of the community, you know. Now don't get us wrong, you know we love the brotherhood, but at the same time we're all walking our own walk with the Yahweh Bashi man. All right, hey, Morpheus, Morpheus, and they were having a council, and he said, he said, you know, I believe that Neil is the one. And the general stood up. He said, not everybody believes what you believe, Neil. He said, my faith doesn't require you to believe. You know, right. that's a heavy thing. Like, that's heavy, bro. Right. My faith don't require you to believe, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so if we got we, our faith don't require nobody else to believe, man. Like that scripture says, does it make the, the uh, somebody can take the word of the Lord without effect? Romans nine and nine. I mean Romans three and three. You know, we, our faith not required for nobody else to believe, man. We as long as we believe, as long as we do what we required to do, man. Go ahead. It's the book of Romans chapter <laughs> three, verse three. <laughs> it says, "For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect?" said yahweh forbid yea let yahweh be true for every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged all right so like the brother was saying hey just because some somebody else you know and uh, the the multitude don't believe are is that gonna make the the, the words of the most high untrue Hell no, nah, man. Just hey, right. first of all, the most high is only dealing with a remnant, remnant anyway. So hey, they 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 beliefs don't matter anyway. So and, and just because they don't believe, don't make the words of the most high untrue, man. Precept. Hey, look, hey, look <laughs> at the days of Noah, man. When Noah's going out uh -huh. telling people that hey, what the floods coming, man. He had he was against the whole entire world. Yeah. Right. So just imagine how many unbelieving souls was then, and it was only eight souls that believed. You know. So it doesn't matter if, if the whole entire world, if there's one believing soul, hey, what did Abraham tell the most high? He said, Lord, if, if there was one believing soul in the city, would you spare it? And he said, yes, Perfect. you know? So they say, hey, listen, if there's one believing soul, the Lord would get rid of everybody else, yep. mm -hmm. you know? Look at look, look what he was gonna do to the nation of Israel when, 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 uh, uh, when Moses was, was yep. on the scene. He yep. said, hey, listen, get behind me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with these people, man, <laughs> and make a nation of you. You know, so hey, listen, mm -hmm. it, it don't matter if it, cause you gotta think 144,000 and, and one third of Israel is a very small number compared to the amount of people upon the uh, planet Earth, uh -huh. all right? So it doesn't matter if all of them, every single one of the people, believe or not, it's still gonna happen, all right? The Lord don't need no permission. What the scripture says, the scripture says, the Lord said, um, if I was hungry, why well, tell thee? You know, right. so the Lord don't need your permission. The Lord don't need a, 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 a mass amount of followers in order to do what he said he was gonna do. Precept. You know? Well, it's not Instagram, you know, oh, follow the Lord and, you know, help, help me get to 1K. Help me get to 1K likes. Lord, God. don't need you, man. God. Lord, don't need none of us. Lord, so he make the rocks cry out. Yes, sir. <laughs> you don't need none of us, man. You know? The Lord, man, see that you get down with his program or you gonna lay down. Get out of lay down. You know? Why not fight for the winning team? Yeah. And I choose to be submissive, God. you know? I choose to be, uh, 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 uh what's that word? Um. Fucking escape. Go ahead. Under subjection? No, it was another word. Yeah. I think it was the opposite of, uh, 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 what's the opposite of supporting? Supporting, right? Supporting. Supporting. Yeah, I'd rather be supporting it, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead, y'all got it. Okay. This is, uh, yes, more? Okay, okay, okay. This is, uh, Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 27. It says, For the Lord of hosts hath purpose, and who shall disannul it? Mm. And his hand is stretched out. See, that's the power right there. The <coughs> Lord had purposes so who shall disannul it, you know? So basically, if the Lord, if the Lord set up something, a program, or the Lord is for something, who's gonna say, oh no, we're gonna do it this way, or it's, no, it's gonna go this way, you know? Go ahead. Definition for I got the definition for that word disannul in a blue letter. It says to break, frustrate, to to make ineffectual, to, to be broken, to break, to split. Divide to break into bits. Come, Bible, I get that scripture where it says, uh, 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 uh certain Romans too. It says, um, you can do nothing against the truth before, before the, the truth. truth. Okay. You know, I'm gonna finish this. Yeah. Come. Okay. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 27. It says, for the Lord of hosts hath purpose, mm -hmm. and who shall disannul it? Right, man. That says nobody. Go ahead. It's like it. The page flipped on me. It says, um. <clears throat> 
It says, and his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Mm -hmm. And his hand is stretched out. So guess what? His hand stretched out for them that's going to uh, 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 open the door, you know, and, 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 and basically call. All right. What, where are you reading that? Uh, Isaiah 14 and 27. Con, was that it today? Uh, yeah, Con. Get Con. nine and one. Nine and one. Yeah. Result. Where it says, uh, uh, Lord hand is not shortened. Oh, that's a uh, 59. That's 59 and one? Yeah, yeah. Con. Okay. I'm going to it right now. It's kind of towards the beginning. This is, uh, it's like you. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, and verse 1. Excuse me. It says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. That's right, man. So the Lord, is, <laughs> you know, that's not impossible for the Lord's hand is be short. I, I, almost got that. I almost got that. I tried to save him. I couldn't, you know? The Lord's not going to say that because the uh, book of uh, Matthew says what? There's not one that shall fall from the Lord's hand, man. Mm -hmm. Which I go to falling off but at the same time hey listen if you in this truth you're not you're not, you're not gonna uh, uh, uh you're not gonna be forsaken the scriptures also says what the lord is not one to forget your uh, uh your labor of love man mm -hmm. you know also you know also if you're doing this truth you're gonna be salvation that's just hand in hand you know the elect is gonna be saved all right go ahead it says uh neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear right so you know so 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 when you pray to the lord he's hearing them you know but he just ain't got an answer, you know. The scripture says uh, uh, in the book of uh, the book of Sirach, it says, uh, 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 "Don't offer a multitude of sacrifices." It says, uh, "The Lord, uh, uh, the Lord is sufficient." Or basically, oh, uh, I offered all these, Lord, you gotta accept it. He ain't gotta accept nothing, you know. Just because you say you sorry, you can say you sorry a million times, but the Lord ain't gotta forgive you, you know. You got that? Yeah. Come ahead. Come. This is uh, Second Corinthians chapter thirteen, starting at verse eight. For we can do nothing against the truth. Oh, shall somebody get Judith on um, the sixth chapter where she talks about uh what she told the elders, don't put the Lord into a box, he's not a man like everybody else. Go ahead. This is second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Right, man. So everything you do in this walk, man, is always gonna be for the truth, man. Whether you fall out, whether you do a video, whether you st stay and continue, you know, everything we do is always gonna be for the truth, all right. There's nothing that we can do to hinder the truth. No, and, and, and not just us, anybody. Esau can't hinder it. You know, nobody can hinder the uh, the, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, man. And nobody can hinder his actions. All right. If you being a scoffer or scorner and taking down videos and try to upset prophecy, that's your job. That's what the Lord has set you up to do. So what? He can eventually destroy you. All right. If you thinking you 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 taking down videos, you trying to mute certain brothers, you killing certain brothers. Are you doing just 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 wavering shit? You thinking you stopping something? You actually just fulfilling your job, you know? Because the scripture says we was going we was going to uh, 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 endure those things, man. Matter of fact, not only not only do they say it, not only uh, uh, do we expect it. No, it's like I, just, I, I ruined it. Not only do we uh, we know it's coming, but we expect it coming. You know, we understand that you know our videos get taken down for bullshit because we're preaching the truth. You know, Esau just say what? Oh, uh, well, it went against our guidelines. What guidelines? Uh, 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 misinformation and false information. But isn't this the isn't this the land of the free? Right. You know, can you can really can't you say whatever you really want to say? Which I always question. I'm like, wait a minute. So if this if this country you can say whatever you want to say, but you want to mute people who basically bring out false information, isn't whoever take that false information isn't it on them to that they did that? Oh well, you should never listen to that person. But they know the people are impressionable. They understand people are impressionable. They, they understand that, uh, uh, what? If you start coming out, if you start making sense, people are like, damn, that makes sense. I'm going to do it that way. You know? Yeah, and then, but that's how you know, too, what would be saying be the spirit because other people can come out and say the same thing. They don't get took it down. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But like, these, like the elder wanted to, you can't do nothing against it. But guess what? The Lord, who, hey, that video you took down, it probably had 15 views, 20 views, 30 views, 100 views. That word got out to who the Lord wanted it to reach. Yep. And who said who who and out of those views, who was stopping uh, uh shit? Four or five of those brothers probably did a response video to it. Yep. You know? You got that in Judas? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, a beautiful point, because hey, what good story has a protagonist <laughs> and no antagonist, man? Right. You you gonna have people that, that like the elders are saying that hey, when they doing things trying to do things against the truth, they just doing their job, man. That's the part uh 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 in the in the book, man. That's their part in the book. Yeah. What makes a good movie or what makes a good story is always evil versus good, man. Uh -huh. You know? 
or a protagonist versus an antagonist. That's just it makes for it, gets, it makes for a good storytelling. Yep. You All know. Right. And in the Bible, what the protagonist is Israel and the antagonist is is, is, is it could be Israel too, but really mainly Esau. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you want me to uh, start up a couple verses from the yeah, point? Yeah, just kind of read yeah. it to it. Uh, Judith chapter eight verse thirteen. It says, "And now try the Lord Almighty, but you shall never know anything." For you cannot find the depth of the heart of man, neither can you perceive the things that he thinketh. Then how can you search out the Most High that hath made all these things? Right, because, you know, back then, uh, the, 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 the elders of Israel, back with Judith uh, times, which is around the, uh, the king of um, the king of Babylon, you know, which was Nebuchadnezzar, mm -hmm. he was going on his, uh, his Hellenized uh, uh, rant or whatever. So... Uh, 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 the general uh, Hanafernes, how the fuck you say his name? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he was going around. He was going to make war with Israel, and the Israel and, and, and basically the elders of Israel was like, "All right, well, Lord, we're gonna give you three days in order to deliver us. If you don't, we're just gonna fall into our hands, our enemy." And Judith is coming against them and saying, "Listen, you can't, you can't. The Lord ain't no nobody. You can just you, you can put a you can't put in a box. Stipulation. Or you can't put stipulations. Or you can't say, oh, Lord, do this for us. Or we gonna, you know, we just gonna, you know." can't do that to the Lord. Lord, do as you please. That's she's going to get into it. Go ahead. It says, um, <clears throat> it says, uh, excuse me, it says, then how can you search out the most high that hath made all these things and know his mind? And another thing too is, you, you women that watch these videos, don't, don't, don't look at this like, oh, see, so you can repeat brothers. No, she was just basically bringing to their attention. All right. She was giving her, 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 I guess, Cause on top of that, everybody understood that Judith was 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 a wise woman. All right, yeah. you ain't got that now. You ain't, you, you you women are are, are are so far from Judith, it's not even funny. She a needle on Because women will use that and say, "Oh, see, so you can rebuke a brother." Like, no, no, we'll stop you right there. Go ahead. It says, uh, um, or comprehend. Or Judith is back today, and I bet you, and I and I guarantee you, she's shutting up. She, ain't, you don't even know who she is. Yep. <laughs> she ain't making videos about brothers, you know. Hey, this script, you know. Go ahead. It says, it, it says, fucking jackass. It says, uh, it says, or comprehend his purpose. Nay, my brethren, provoke not the Lord our God to anger, mm -hmm. for for if He will not help us within these few days. He has power to defend us when he will. See, he has power to defend us when he will, man. You know? It says, even every day, or to destroy us before our enemies. Right. He, so, the Lord, so we're within three days. He ain't, we ain't got to worry about the heathen. The Lord would destroy you, you know? Uh, yeah. I ain't, ain't got to worry about the Hey, listen, I'm going I'm to come do it myself. You know? Go ahead. It says, do not bind the counsels of the Lord our God, uh -huh. for Yahweh is not as man that he may be threatened, neither is he is that, as a son of man that he should be wavering. Correct. That's a threat. You know, hey, Lord, come do this for this, or this, or we just don't go, go and do this. You know, that's a threat. You know? You put him in, you put him in that person in the box. You're giving him an ultimatum. Right. You're going to give the Lord an ultimatum. Who are you? Who are you? Go ahead. That's it. That was it that? Okay. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man. Who, who, who was you to think you can upset prophecy? Who was you to think you can... Get, here we go. The Lord set up a whole story, a whole program. Who was you thinking like, oh, yeah, I'm going to just mess all this up right here? Yeah. You know? You ain't nobody, man. You are nothing but a spark. All right? Bible said, you get that in Isaiah 55? I'm going to interrupt, uh, interrupt the vision. Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> here you go. The Lord putting the pieces together, drawing a picture, and here you was trying to get an eraser, and trying to, you know... Rewrite it. Trying to rewrite it and trying to erase shit. And go into that pride, man. You know, thinking you more than what you is, man. You ain't yeah. shit at all. Scripture says, uh, 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 not, uh, uh, everything is not a man because man is, uh, is not immortal. You know, so you don't even you don't even got everything. You, you whatever. Man. Go ahead. You, uh, you, uh, Isaiah fifty-five, where it says, uh, "My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways." Uh, kind of I, 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 I think it's like fifty-five and four or five. Right. Verse, uh, verse, verse I'm not Isaiah fifty-five though. Yeah, go to uh, go to Isaiah 55 and 8. Or 50, either 55 and 7 or 55 it's, and it's 8. 8. 8, kind of. Yeah. 8. It's the book of Isaiah 55 and 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, right, saith the Lord. So, yeah, so yeah, the Lord's ways and his thoughts are way higher, mm -hmm. way above the things that we can think of, man. You know? Here it is, you got wisdom, which only comes from him. So, just a. <laughs> 
I mean, just just fathom that for a minute. You know, uh, you got wisdom. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 uh, the, uh, 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 the way in order to live life or the way to acknowledge things and way to how to use them, it all comes from him. God. So precept. how can you, huh? Sounds like precept. God, so how can you outwit who created wit itself? You know? That's madness, man. Every time you think about it, that's madness. But you have Esau that has that type of mindset. But that comes from what? His pride. You know? Yep. Thinking that he, thinking he is something. You know? That's why you got the book of uh, Revelation that says what? Uh, 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 but he just fight. Basically saying what? He he, 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 he going to understand that he is no match for the Lord. But yet what? His pride is going to be so great, he's going to try his best tooth and nail to fight against the Lord. The Lord invented fight. He invented rumble. He invented, the, you know, all these things that you're using against him. You don't think he understand the, the molecular structure to how to just, just completely... Go ahead. God, you know the most. High, he, he established a, 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 a difference, man. A, a, man, the most high thinks on a plateau that we can't even... Fathom, man. Hey, bro, like the elder was saying earlier, bro, the most high, the, he got, he's a power that defies the laws of of, of, of graphics and fi, fi, physics, man. Yes. So, hey, man, we can't, bro, man can't even comprehend the, the things that the most high can do, man. And we not nowhere near that le that level, man. The most high established a difference between man and him in that scripture, man. So, so like, yeah, I, I got to go to verse 9. Oh, but look, look, man, I, I'm going to say this, man. You gotta be a fucking jackass if you can think if you think you can fight against Yahweh Bashmi Ashai and his angels, man. You gotta be a fucking jackass. Cause that 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 goes back to the pride of this devil, man. Esau is nothing but a fucking jackass. Yep. Think, thinking you can hold a candle to the Lord. God. You fucking through. Oxymoron. God damn. Even with the scriptures where it says that I mean just the the amount of uh, knowledge, the amount of knowledge that's that's just in the scriptures. Is it's so vast where you, you can't even get it all in one lifetime. The Lord said that is but a spark unto him. So just imagine, just imagine the Lord said infinity, and infinity is not even a percentage of what the Lord can do, or the Lord what, uh, or what the Lord knows. To just to charge. just to put a, a mindset, you're a, you're a grain of sand in a fucking Milky Way of galaxies. You know? Yeah, if you ever see the if you ever see the Milky Way. Bro, it's it's that shows you how insignificant. That shows you how fucking insignificant everything is. I seen the video yep. where it showed a human and it just started zooming out. Yep, it showed the Earth, the then it showed thing. the Sun, then it showed the Milky Way, then it showed other galaxies, then it showed galaxies within galaxies. I'm like, God damn, it just keeps going forever. It's it, oh my God, bro, like just 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 to, just to think about that is it's already mind blowing, man. And you think you can create? You think you can beat a, a power that created all of that? Madness. Cool. USB. I think I need that. I thought I thought this little uh, USB C was the charger port, but I might you need the actual the actual USB. You actually what actually kind of charger? What's the name? iPhone. Or oh, it, it's a portable. But I got the uh, USB C. I think the but I, I think I need the one that goes. The regular this. charger? Yeah. I got it. <laughs> yeah, because. Yeah. Come. Salak it, brothers and sisters. I'm gonna read verse nine though. Keep us on point. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 9 says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are the ways higher, so are so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Alright, so like the brothers was going, we can't even go, we can't even fathom the thoughts that you have about Shimon man. We can't even we can't even rationalize to think. Of that man, uh, you know, think above what the Lord uh, uh, thoughts are, man. You know, and everything the Lord said is gonna happen, it's gonna happen, man. You know, <laughs> this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, uh, verse 1. It says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shah, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Footstool, yeah. man, who can't be their own footstool? <laughs> Like, come on now, man. Stump you out. It says, where is the house that ye, that ye built unto me, and where is the place of my rest? Bro, you're not on the Lord's level, man. That's right, bro. All right? It's like, you're not on the Lord's level, man. All right? And you never will be. Who creates something more powerful than itself? You can't even do that, you know? 
You can't create something more powerful than yourself. Right. And, and everything and everything you create, the Lord gave to you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the people say, man, going is of the Lord. And how can a man then know his own way? Roughly paraphrasing. Thing about the Lord. All right. So everything you created, all right, through, through, through your science, uh, 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 through your technologies, through, yeah. through your missiles, through your chemistry, chemistry, all that, man. Was, well, the Lord gave that to you, man. Right. And, and, and the Lord gave you nukes to destroy you. Yep. <laughs> Look, straight own. up, bro. The Lord, yeah. Hey, build, build this missile right here. I want you to put this, 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 this much. Uh, uh, I forgot what wants. Plutonium in, in, in this warhead. Yep. I want you to make it to be. I'm gonna give you the power to make it unstoppable. Then the defense systems can't stop it. Yep. You know, I'm mean, gonna you the technology that you're gonna be more advanced. You'll be ten years advanced than the rest of the, uh, your counterparts on the earth. The Lord is doing these things, man. Yeah. And the Lord shows y'all y'all had a power over it uh, a few years ago, man. When he when he when he cut when he cut them nukes on. Yep. And you panicked. All right, and you were hitting your stop buttons. And, and, and you, uh, 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 what they call yo, 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 it? Yo, your codes. Yeah. yeah, your codes. You hit your de deactivated yeah, you codes. Your codes, yeah. All right. Why is this working? Right. <laughs> All right. The Lord made it. The Lord made it de uh, 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 deactivate because it wasn't set. And that's just a, that's that, that, since you just said that just from perspective. That's a whole other level of disrespect. Yeah. The Lord gave you the knowledge to create something. <laughs> yeah, bro. And then now he's gonna be like, all right, now use it on yourself. Yeah. You know, to kill it. Like, damn, like. That's a whole nother level of disrespect. Like just, just like that movie X Men. What, what was the dude's name? The, the... Magneto. No, 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 no. The one that uh... the so-called God. Oh, you talking about uh, 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 Apocalypse? Apoc Apoc no, Apocalypse. Apoc no, okay. Apocalypse. Okay. What did he do, bro? He he played everybody man. To, everybody man to shoot the nukes. Yep. Yep. They all shot him. Dude just walked over and pressed the button. What are you doing? <laughs> He's a he didn't even. He stopped back here. What the fuck? I don't... Right. I see. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's exactly how the Lord gonna do it, man. I don't know exactly, but hey, that's that, that, that's a reference of how things can happen, man. Yep. I'm only speaking as a man, you know. Forgive me, I'm only speaking. I don't know the Lord thoughts myself, but it's a good example of what could happen, man. Hey, well, because you know what, man, we got a rough draft, though. Yeah, you know? we got a, we got a we got a, a rough draft. We don't know exactly. Yeah. we got a rough draft. We know this gonna happen, you know, through prophecy. We are prophets. Yeah, you know. But but that made but that made us revert back to the scriptures. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Watching that happen, man. The Lord took over, over, over their mind and made them shoot them nukes. Mm -hmm. Even though he made it, you know, go into outer space and destroy it, no, that ain't gonna happen. All right, when the Lord, when the Lord put that spirit on them, fire them nukes, the, the scripture said they're not gonna break rank. They're yep. not gonna return back. They're not gonna return back. Yeah, yep. they're gonna uh, please him. They gonna, you know, gonna say, yeah, they're gonna please, uh, uh, they're gonna accomplish the deed uh, of them that sent them. That's right, bro. You know? And you know what? That's why uh, uh, I, I always like to mention this. But Second Ezra 16 chapter says, "What well, strong is a right hand that bendeth the bow?" Yeah. Because ultimately, hey, the Most High Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, He's the one that's gonna be controlling these missiles, man. Yep, yep. You know, the spirit of, is upon them. It says, "What they should not break rank." Mm -hmm. You know, they gonna once once these other nations send them nu them nukes out, they're no longer gonna be the mother nations nuke. They're, those those nukes, those those uh, missiles are gonna have the spirit of the Lord upon them. All right. And ain't, right. ain't nothing gonna coll collide against them to to, to 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 break them up. I don't care what type of defense, uh, uh, uh what a mental defense system you got set right. up in place. Ain't nothing, man. Appreciate. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you was holding something, right? No, no. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I thought you were holding something. I was holding something. You was? What? But it's uh, it's going into um, uh, uh, not striving with the maker. Read it. Kind. This is Isaiah 45. <laughs> and nine. Read it. <laughs> read it out. Woe read. unto him that striveth with his maker. Mm. Let the posture strive with the postures for the earth of the earth. Lock it. What does it say? Pot shared? Pot shared. Pot shared. Pot shared. Pot shared. Pot shares. 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 Shall the clay say unto the uh, fashioneth it, what makest thou or thy work? He hath no hands. You don't right. know what he doing? Yeah. I can do it better. Nigga, yeah. did I make you? We ain't talking about that right now. <laughs> that's pretty yeah. much that's yeah. pretty much how Esau is. Uh, yeah. uh what what was that one uh Edomite cat? Um he was talking about creating something, like some like I can't remember exactly what it was, but pretty much he said, you know, with this, we can make the most high mad. Like, 
Man, your motherfucking ass is tripping, boy. What the artificial hell? intelligence. Yeah, it, I want to say it was Elon Musk. No, nah, it was it wasn't Elon Musk. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly who it was, but I remember they they said they came up with something. Um, and they said with this we can make the most high mad. Something along those lines. He's always been having them bugged out ass fucking sayings. Yeah. 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 You know when the Titanic came out and said God couldn't even sink this yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's always been having bugged out ass fucking um uh, uh, quotes and stuff. Oh, yeah. shit. Now what what, what shit. happened? And what happened? Right. What happened? Girl, I can't even imagine it. myself saying nothing like that, yeah. bro. Well, that's the, that's, that's the pride of this devil. That's the pride of this devil, bro. That's Esau's mindset. Matter of fact, somebody gets Psalms in the Tim chapter where it says he is, he, 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 he is not in all his thoughts. Man, Esau don't be thinking about the Lord. Like, man, I'll be doing all this. Esau, I got it. This is uh, Psalms you chapter you 10. and uh, You can read all that. I want to hear all of it. Let's we'll start from the top. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Psalms chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. It says, Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Mm -hmm. Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? Right. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. And we see him in his pride <laughs> now, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Mm -hmm. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire. Right. And what's, and what's the wicked's heart's desire, man? What? Chipping masses of amount of these people, man. Yep. All right? It's enterprise. Go ahead. It's, it, 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 it. To further inflict Israel to keep us going off too, man. Uh -huh. right? That's that's the ultimate one that the, the elders talked about. But yeah, man, to right. the, the, keep us going off. Go ahead, you got it. It says, um, and blesseth the covetous, the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth. Mm -hmm. But excuse me, the wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the most high. The most high is not in all his thoughts. And it's the spirit because we was just uh, I was watching a video of Pax Tahar. Uh, on our way coming here, and he was talking about the Edomite judge, the Jake that leaped over that. Uh, Ooh, that was he cleared that motherfucker. He cleared that motherfucker. Man, so uh, uh, Jake that leaped over that that, that podium to get, get to that judge, Apostle Ha said, he, you know, he was talking about how, how proud she looked, how proud her countenance was. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. and that's just not you know that's just not uh, just her. All the Edomites race, you know, yeah. they always have got that proud look that they like they can't be touched. Yeah. You know, that's why the scriptures talks about in uh, Isaiah the forty seventh chapter says. Uh, uh, she, she shall no more say, I said as a widow, mm. you know, I, uh, 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 I have no loss of children. I have no loss of children. Yes, you know? That's that pride that Esau has. Well, you know, thinking that, oh, uh, you, you can't touch us. We're, you know, we, we're, we're the best military. I've, I've actually heard people say this. We have the best military in the world, you know? The general. Huh? The general got on TV and said it. Yes. Like, uh, he said, nobody somebody, can defeat us. Somebody else can raise your son. Nobody, nobody, son. nobody's going to be able to, somebody else going to raise your children. Nobody can defeat America. We're the best. Hey, hey niggas say it. Israel, Israelites say it. Damn, I, like who can beat us? Through our people are so engrafted into this place, bro. Us, their daddy Esau. What that, what that, a slave mentality syndrome. All right, in love with their oppressor. Who can? Hey man, hey, man, we got the best military in the world, man. We got the F factories, the F man. That, hey, the Lord did all that to, to make it to be destroyed, man. Exactly. That's why I, I, I bring this out a lot, bro. But it, it's so beautiful to me, bro. The Lord did the same thing with Pharaoh, bro. Yep. Oh yeah, oh, what? Oh okay, I'm gonna send this. What? Oh, you, oh okay, yeah, what? Lord, see, he hard this hard on purpose, bro. And, and the only reason why <laughs> Egypt was so great back then is yeah. because what Israel was there. Yep. You know, that's why exactly. Esau don't want to let Israel go now. Yep. The reason why he don't want to let Jake go now is because what? We make this place, it is what it is. You know, we make America great. If ever Israel like moved and left and went to China or Russia or whatever, uh -huh. man, America will be fucking forgotten about uh, uh, overnight. Crumble. You know, yeah. it will crumble. Because I seen a, I seen a video earlier where it was uh, Moab, you know, they, they was dancing and doing things that Jake liked to do, man. Because, hey, Jake really the salt of the earth, man. Yeah, bro. And, you know, you know what was funny about that video with the judge? You see how her countenance changed? <laughs> as soon as she said, yeah. <laughs> that scream, that scream she was delayed her, for a second. <laughs> she tried to run too. <laughs> you man, look, man, you know how motherfucking high you gotta jump. Bro, that was a higher point. I didn't know. I, I didn't really realize until I watched the Apostle uh, Todd's video. I'm like, yeah, that's actually yeah. that photo was that. It was that. If it wasn't looking him out of eye, it was like a little above, and he cleared. He, I, I don't think I even see. Not one of his bodies Buddha. touched anything. On that, he went straight. His body on top of her body. Like, Damn. Right? Right? And, 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 the Lord, and the Lord let her catch some hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. yeah. dude was standing there, yeah. but he couldn't stop him. She was crazy. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what the apostle, the apostle mm -hmm. Taha was talking about. Hey, man, listen, he, the Lord spent, sent the spirit on him. You know, yeah. he, he was he was an uh, angel uh, created for vengeance. You know, yeah. he, when he cleared that podium, <laughs> hey, hey, it 
doing shows, bro. He, he was on some other stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah. He was on some other stuff. Like, yeah, Lori was literally, you know, fashioning that. Yeah. I think hey, she was sitting in there. Yeah, yeah, she was sitting there. She's like, like oh, I don't want to hear that. You know, he, he's going to have to do some time, you know, go yeah. rough and prayer for him. He said, fuck this. Yeah, you should have seen his face. I'm going to jail for a reason. He's going to jail for a reason, right? He got to beat her ass. I'll let you know that the most high is the one that put Esau over Jake, man. Because, yeah. hey, if Jake, Jake, a real Edomite, bro, Jake would whoop Esau ass, bro, if it was in the most, bro. That's how you you got to know the most high put, you know, Esau over us. Because if that wasn't the case, bro, Jake, Jake would whoop Esau ass easily, man. You know, to back up your point, bro, he, hey, look, going back during the times of slavery and whatnot, hey, you, you see how when it come, when it came to a Jake man, Esau will come in packs, mm -hmm. all right, and weapons just to take down one Jake man, whereas yeah. contrary, if it was a Jake woman, it only take one of them. Same yeah. thing today, what the police officers do. Yep. Come with uh, arms, you get like, a thousand of them. Yeah. Jake got his hands up, a thousand years, like, you know, why did y'all have your guns out? Well, I felt threatened for my life. Yeah. With one man? Hands behind your head. It was, it was a dude in, in, the, on the, in the train, I saw this on Twitter yesterday. I seen that. Bro, they hit I him with a taser, that. he stood there, bro. I seen it. <laughs> Did the other, did the, did the, my woman ran up, she hit him with a taser, he just looked at her, bro. Esau just had to back off from this dude, bro. I see, oh, I, see I see one video of a dude, uh, of a Jake, he whooped two Edomites with tasers in the hand, like, yeah. you know, they pulled out guns later, but, bro, he was, man, they was fucking him up at one point, but he got back up and he clipped one and, bro, he was fucking up two, two Edomites. Remember the Black Ninja? Which one was that? The Black Ninja? Oh, that no, his no, crib. no, 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 Bro, Jake had rubber bullets. They had, they had to spray with at least 50 to 100 rubber bullets, bro. Jake came up, 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 up over the hill on their ass. Man, it was it was wild, man. Hey, you know? It's, uh, the, the, uh, one video of uh, two cops pulled dude over, Jake, man. They told him to put his hands behind his head. He had his hands behind his head. They still tased him, but he ain't phased him. And so the cop got mad and uh, uh, ran up and tried to drop kick him. Still, still ain't phased Jake, man. Yeah. And then they both had to try to take him down together. That's, man, Esau a fucking bitch, man. Yeah, yeah. Esau. That's all it boils down to the end of the day, man. Esau is a fucking weak ass bitch. Yep. That's all scripture calls him what a face is a man. Yeah. yeah. But that also shows you how powerful the Lord is. You know? yeah. He can Kyle. set somebody as weak as this to rule the earth. Kyle. You know, like, like this, 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 this the guy? This the this dude? The man. man. I seen a Marine, I seen a, 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 a little Jake girl, little girl out push up the Marine. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, damn, dog. This is the guy who, who set up to be over the world. Yeah. What a joke. But it just shows you that, man. Listen, Lord, that's just look how the Lord's power, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Who's reading? Yeah, I got some. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians. Who's reading something else? What was reading? Uh, Did you I want say... Psalms 10, the whole chapter? Oh, yeah. Not the whole chapter, but all the points, you know. And, yeah, and I, I got some points you wanted. I got yeah, some points. No, I want some more of that. It, okay, fine. Uh, you can get your prayers out. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm still reading that. Okay, fine, fine. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, starting at verse 4. Uh, who opposed and exalted himself above all? Yeah, see, he got to be everybody. He got to be the last samurai. Yeah. He got to be the fucking uh, 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 the guy who go to Africa to save all the homeless kids. Right, you know, <laughs> he got to be the hero of every fucking thing. If he ain't the hero, he the sub hero. And Black Panther, he was the one guy who like, come hey. on, why the fuck is he there, dog? <laughs> come on, bro. Like, he got to be. He got to be. A, so he got to be in everything. He got to be everywhere. Like. Yeah, you know, I'm helping the Black Panther, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta help fly the plane and shit. Right, right. <laughs> he, he was the one who who, cracked, who who stopped the one who stopped the other plane from getting out. It wasn't. Yeah, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gotta be. He got his head. He gotta be everybody. You know. Go ahead. Goes into that that God complex. That God that complex, got, right? Like everybody gotta look at him as, as as well. You know, I'm the great. I'm the greatest. Yeah. He'll get Jake his little side characters, but he gotta be the utmost greatest. Yeah, you get Black Panther, you know, Black Lightning, Luke Cage, but I'm Captain America. I'm, I'm Thor, Man. you know? I'm, yeah. I'm the god. I'm, I'm the nigga who can destroy planets and, you know, Spider Man. I'm Spider Man. Right. Go ahead. Exalted himself above all that is called Yahweh. All right, man. He got, yeah, like we just, man, he gotta be everything that, that, that exalted himself above all that is called God. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> or that is worshiped. Mm -hmm. Or that is worshiped. All right, what is worship? Basically, what? Superhero characters, yep, you know, crazy, yep. uh, people with money, you know, uh, basically look at your dollar, you know, look at your presidency, you know, look at your hierarchy. Mount Rushmore. You know, look at your, yeah, Mount Rushmore, <laughs> all these that worship, people that look at things at, at all, you know, yeah. I want to be like him when I grow up, you know, yeah. he got to be everybody, he got to be every fucking thing. Hey, 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 That's hey. why, but it shows you that because what, all these other nations just to show you, 
goes back into Revelation, the 18th chapter. Mm. And what? All these other nations, what? They wear suit and ties to be just uh, like the fucking white man. Yep. Yeah. You know? They don't even wear the tradition. Yeah. And you got the Arabs, they kind of sometimes wear their little, you know, but but, but they had a little headdress on, Michis, but they have a suit and tie right up under. Yep. Yeah. You know? Nah, it's just like the, uh, the, the dude, right, they, they, leave, they be leaving them. He he was, like, uh, he, he, I, I forget yeah, who he was arguing with, but it was on CNN. He was saying that, the, uh, uh, that Esau was the Egyptian. We I created the textbook. Yeah. We, we created the pyramids. Yeah. We did all this. We did White this. Yeah. Yeah. He, said, he said, you do know that they was over in the sun, yeah. right? <laughs> that sunscreen yeah, wasn't a thing, right? This, yeah. <laughs> You do know y'all skin would have been peeling, right? Oh, you. you know, but he but but he has to exalt himself over everything. Yep. Like he has to be the 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 the, the, the creator of it all. Yep. You know, he, 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 yeah, no, yeah no, he don't want to be the devil. No, 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 he don't exist. <laughs> no, he don't exist. <laughs> he, 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 even 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 with Jake conventions, you know, he came up with that patent because he has to be over it all. Yeah. He has to be the face of everything. Yep. You know, he, even 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 when they handed out. The, the so-called coloring, you know, white and black, white is pure and and, and, and without blemish, and, and you know, and black is evil and mean and dark, and you know, he he has to be he has to be enlightened in everything, man. Even your so-called right. fucking um um uh, um black empowerment movies, you know, oh my NAACP God. started by Edomites, uh, BLM. Uh, Huh? BLM, BLM started by Edomites. Yeah. Uh, fuck, George even, Soros. Even, even Jordan, Nike, and uh, D, you know things that Jake Rock and shit yeah. are owned by Edomites. You know? Okay. Hey, what did he do? Hey, he, 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 I probably don't remember this, but with Jake back in the nineties, Jake came on with their own, own clothes. Uh, mm -hmm. What they do? They came and bought his ass out. Yep. All right, Jake didn't even have the integrity to hold on to to, to black owned businesses, man. It was fubu for us by us. Yep. They came and bought it out, bro. You know? God, you better not be no Jake that come up with nothing to help society out, man. Oh, yeah. oh no. They, they gonna murk yeah, your yeah, ass, yeah. man. So yeah. they, they look Five at the dude who makes the car. Yeah. That runs off a uh, 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 water. Yeah. All right, what, what they do, they sabotage. They tried to kill that dude. They poisoned him nine times when he was in America. You know? Hey, hey look at the other Jake, man, who went up there to Flint. Didn't he have tattooed on him? I didn't, I didn't kill myself or something like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that, yeah. Uh, look at the dude in Flint who came out with the machine that made water out of the air. What they do? They went and sabotaged it, man. You know, this this devil got a man, this devil is he, he a heavy demon, bro. That's why it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man, to see Esau get fucking get destroyed, destroyed, man. It's beautiful to see uh, followed by enemies. Followed by enemies. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Twenty-five. It says I uh, uh, five things I love. Yeah. Six I utter with my mouth. Yeah. Let me see him. Because this dude, he got a, he got a heavy price to pay, man. Lord, what man? I be praying every day, Lord, don't take your spirit away from me, Lord. Please let me be a part of your elect. God, God. I, I am. I am going to rejoice in watching this devil go down. I'm going to laugh at watching this devil go down. I'm already laughing. This kingdom already falling, man, on a day to day by basis, man. You know, through the spirit. If you if you paying attention, this place is falling, man. Other countries doing whatever the hell they want to do to us at this point. I'm a bomb your embassy. What you gonna do? Nothing. But take well, it, huh? But take it. Yeah, take that. Take no, that. Take that. Take they that. on they diddy with us. <laughs> they on they diddy with us, bro. Take that. You know, I'm gonna I'm fly across into watching the waters. What y'all gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> they doing what they want to do, bro. This place is falling, bro. Oh, y'all got it. Got it. Right. This is a uh, Sirach chapter 25 and verse seven. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy, and the tenth will I utter with my tongue. A man that has joy of his children, mm -hmm. and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. That's right, man. Man, that's gonna be a, a beautiful thing to get to see your the, your ultimate enemy perish, man. Yeah. The one that was bringing your people so much harm, so much trouble for all hey, these years. Hey. It's gonna be a beautiful thing to see see them get destroyed, man. That's 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 why we. You know, as uh, as uh, men preaching this truth, we go so hard, man, because we want to be we want to be on that first go round on them chariots, man, to see this place get annihilated and destroyed, man. That's right. It goes back into the uh, earlier in the lesson. That's why we suffering on this end. You know. I got a preset. Um, Give it up, bro. Now, this is going to be the, the book of 
Psalms. Don't get him still in the Psalms 10, too. Oh, yeah, he's still. Just, just quickly, I still got Psalms. Go, go, come on, bring it out, now. This is the Psalms <laughs> chapter 91. And, uh, it's the last one. Psalms chapter 91 and uh, uh, verse, verse 7, pointing to 8. It says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come, excuse me, it shall not come nigh thee. Only, here's the point, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Now, also, hey, that's going to take place, you know. Or also when the Lord brings salvation, because Revelation the 15th chapter speaks upon what? That sea of glass. Which is going into the elect looking down to the destruction from up uh, up in the heavens from the chariots, man. That's the ultimate Lord will we hear that elect number. The Lord is going to bless us all right, and give us the opportunity to see the destruction of our enemies, man. God. Beginning with Esau, Edom, so-called white man, the heathen nations, and also two-thirds of our people. God. That's it. God, I got uh we going back to Psalms 10 or God damn. Yeah, I just spent that shit. Yeah, I, I still got Psalms 10. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Psalms chapter 10 and verse 5. It says, His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far up, far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth it. Oh, Bible shot. Sock it. Okay. Go, uh, read that over, Bible shot. It's Psalms 10 and 5. It says, His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. Yes, his ways is always grievous, man. You know, this should show you what he, this man can't do no good, man, because no good is in him. You know, go ahead. It says, as for all his enemies, he puffeth them. Mm -hmm. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, mm -hmm. for I shall never back. be in adversity. It goes back to that pride. You know what? I shall not be moved. I ain't going to be in no adversity. You know, go ahead. It says his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Uh -huh. Under his tongue, and he loves it. Yep. And he loves it. Because mm -hmm. the scripture in the book of uh, Job, the 19th chapter, says, "Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, he hideth and be up under his tongue, he hideth it not." Yep. You know. So he loves wickedness. He loves deceit and lies. And you know, he, he takes pleasure in it. Go ahead. Yeah, because because he, he takes pleasure in fooling people. Mm -hmm. He fooled the world. With, 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 with. I know what happened. All right. You study fooling the world, man. What did you say? In, um. Uh, 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 the Revelations, the 20th chapter, come, when, come. He, when he was let go, he says, What then he began to uh, uh, deceive the nations, yeah. You know, so one of his biggest things when he was let go after that thousand years is what him start deceiving the nations, man, yep. and through his renaissance, mm -hmm. all right. So he he came out like, All right, listen, we need to, we not who y'all, y'all not who y'all is, this is who we white, y'all, you know, you know, go ahead. And it was another thing he deceived us with, man. Uh, 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 uh. You know, the world, the world kind of like pacifies this over, man. But uh, even, even, even our presence in the Middle East, you know, that was all a lie. We've been, we've been in Iraq what, twenty years? Like twenty some years? Yeah. I want to say we was in Iraq when my son was born. He's sixteen, so we've been in Iraq that long over a lie. <laughs> thousands and thousands and thousands of people have died over a lie. You know? Oh, y'all got it. It says, uh, Psalms 10 and 7, it says, His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, and mm -hmm. the secret places does he murder the innocent. Right, this man has got a whole world to run. Boy, he, he focuses on how to try to murder the innocent. He yep. focuses on us, how to try to keep us down. Yep. You know? Everything else is given to him, but yeah, he's trying to focus. How can we keep these niggas out of the way? How can we keep these niggas down? Damn, niggas, like, shit, you got a whole world to run. What the fuck you fixated on us? Go ahead. It says, um... But that just shows you the hatred, you know? That continual hatred, that perpetual hatred the scripture talks about, man. He never let it go. Yep. Go ahead. It says, his eyes are privily set against the poor. Right, so wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's why he pushes certain laws. It's privately set against the poor. Who's the poor? Jake, you know? Go ahead. It says, he lieth and wait secretly as a lion in his den. Uh-huh. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. Mm -hmm. He and does this fear upon all the people, man. All you, 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 uh, you so-called Edomites, man. I can't wait to catch Jake up on something. Go yeah. ahead. It says, uh... That's he, what you got, what, Karens? Mm -hmm. Karens is a thing oh because what? God. Fucking what? She's just trying to catch Lying Jacob on wait. something, man. You know? You police officers, you, 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 
Yeah, and don't get you ain't no authority. Oh, they gonna they gonna, they gonna let you they gonna let you know they got authority over you. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. I didn't see flat out uh, Edom might say you have no rights. You yeah. know? That hatred is still there. You know, that's why the scripture also saying the Sarek, keep thee far from the man that has power to kill. Right. Because ultimately Esau, man, he's in a position where he has the power to kill us. He ain't get away with it. Yo, right. And get away with it. And the scriptures say he beareth not the sword in vain. Right. You know, so also, hey, the, the, the right. best thing we can do is do his right to Yahweh Bashim Yashai so that the Lord doesn't put the spirit on this devil, yeah. all right, to, to, to come upon us. And, 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 and even if the Lord does, man, follow what the scripture says, man. The scripture says agree with your adversary quickly. All right, so hey, don't be there arguing with them, going back and forth with them, talking shit. Uh, yes, sir. Yep, you're right. Agree with them. You know? Because you got to understand that they they the ones that are in power on this side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hey, it is what it is. The scripture talks about spitting upon the fire, it should be quenched, and blowing on it, it should increase. God. So if you're blowing on it, if you, if you, uh, 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 if you fucking, uh, um, you know, antagonizing them. You know, you 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 know you you making the situation more worse. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make the fire get even bigger. In the book of uh, book of uh, Proverbs, it says, uh, an, uh, 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 a hard and uh, austere countenance, um, uh, uh, bringing forth strife." You know. So if you are looking at the mean and like, man, what the fuck you? You know, if you if you if you basically provoking them, it's something's gonna come about. It. But if you calm, if you collect, if you being wise as a serpent, if you being harmless as a dove, saying yes, sir. You know, like the brother said, yes, sir, no, sir. Hey, you know, you, you was right. You know, even if you was wrong, you was right. You know, yeah, you, that's you spitting upon the fire. That's you questioning it. Because what, cause what can he say? Yeah, you ain't going to talk this little bullshit like, yeah, you better get up out of here, boy. Whatever. I mean, yeah, let, let him have it. It's his kingdom. Nigger. You know, nigga, uh, all right, man, call us what you want. You know? It's, it's like, <laughs> nah, I mean, but no, it, it's it true. It it's true, you know? Because he can't, because he, I mean, because he, he, spirit, the Lord might put upon the spirit. He might be like, eh, I'm going to let him go, you know? I don't had that happen before. Yeah, I, yeah, it's the same. Because the scripture say, uh, 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 if it be possible, let peace be among, among all men. Yeah. All right? Like this brother said, I didn't have to have men. I cut, a, I cut a cop off in the middle of traffic going across Route 30. I don't know how brother, brother, these brothers know how big Route 30 is. He said, I'm so fucking pissed at you. I said, you're right, sir. I said, I was wrong. I said, I was in a rush. I don't know what my man is at. Uh, you know, I apologize. Yes, he, he said, Go about your way. But he was so angry. But the fact that I was peaceful with them, the, the fact that like, the elder wanted to, I, I didn't, I didn't buck up like, oh yeah, what, 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 what's up? He said, hey, hey, go about your way, man. Be more careful out here. Yes, sir. God, yeah. being, being in that yeah. spirit where you rowdy and shit, that's being in the spirit of a carnal, wicked nigga, man. And you, you can't be in that spirit, man. That's not, that's not right at all, man. And when you know what the scriptures say, a uh, soft answer turns to a wrath. Yeah. Like this brother was just going into a, the, the, the cop was angry at him. He was like, yes, sir, I was wrong, this, that, and the third. And the cop just turned away from him. Even though he was angry, he, the cop might have wanted to do something, but the Lord had it to where he did. Uh, going on in Psalms chapter 10 and uh, verse 10, it says, He crouches and humbles himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Right, subtitle, man. Mm -hmm. It shows you that what he's still that same serpent, all right? It says, what about the serpent? He was more crafty and cunning than any other beast of the field, man. Uh, you know? So anybody upon this planet Earth, Esau is the most crafty, is the most cunning, mm. you know? He's the most deceiving and deceptive. Deception. Yep. Go ahead. It says, he has said in his heart, Yahweh has forgotten. Mm -hmm. He hideth his face, he will never see it. See, so he's thinking the Lord forgot and the Lord, you know, the Lord not looking. You know, he's forgotten about it. Go ahead. It the says, that he, the Lord, what? The Lord, but just to show you what, Jeremiah 51 says, what? Your sins has reached up to the heavens. So the, right, the Lord has a tab on everything that you've been doing, man. Uh, everything. You know? Everything. And he <laughs> said, it's reached up to the heavens, you know? Uh, Hell of a tab to pay. Right. So, it just, But it just shows you that the Lord, hey, nothing get past the Lord, you right. know? He said, the Lord, I have the two times brighter than the sun. Right. The scripture's so going to say that for no reason, so he yeah. sees all that. That's right. Verse 12. Arise, O Lord, O power, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked contend the most high? He said he hath said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief, and spite to require it with thy hand. Mm -hmm. The poor committeth himself unto thee, thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil the man. Stop right there. Go ahead. Uh, uh, this is Proverbs chapter 4, 
verse 16. Mm. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Good. You know, so Esau, he can't even have a good night's rest unless he's done wickedness. Mm -hmm. You know, and we know that uh, 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 his main target is Jake. Yep. You know, so his main objective is to bring us down at all costs, whether it's economically, uh, 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 morally, spiritually. Yep. You know, he is he is the ultimate uh, villain. That's it on that. Hey, this is it. Your brother, so even though, you know, it's, uh, it's just a, a better one or something. Huh? But brother, remember the Simpsons? Remember the Simpsons? 17. Mr. Burns used to always sit up in his bed and come up with ideas late at night, bro. <laughs> Smithers, get the car. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, bro. He, he was an evil dude. You know what I'm saying? Rich had power. Yeah. Just, 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 just going around how to, how to fuck people up. Hey, well, you know what? Uh, Esau, he does this all an attempt to get what? To get that birthright back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Everything, everything he does against us is for that, man. Yep. You know? Look at what your people doing. Look at how I got them going off. All right? Those different ingredients in some of our foods that we have no idea of. Brothers accusing. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I can get 17, too. Whatever. All right. Bring it out. Proverbs, Proverbs 4 and 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. You know what I mean? And that, that's, that's Esau's... Uh, that's his personality. That's his mo. That's what he does. You know, they eat the bread of wickedness. They, they, they're, they're bred to constantly be wicked. You know, and they, they, they drink the wine of violence. You know, Esau is the number one murderer on the planet. Precept. And that's why the scriptures say, <laughs> I believe it's in Ezekiel chapter thirty-five. It says, "Since thou hast not hated, but." Uh, blush, I pursue thee. Roughly paraphrasing, yeah. man, because that's all Esau. Like the brother, that's they, that's they mo, that's they doctrine, man. You know they say they sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall, man. So Esau, hey, they they could be laying in their bed, getting ready to KO, and then, hey, they get up real quick, I'm like I ain't fuck Jake over today. Let me get up. <laughs> Shit, that's the spirit and uh, the spirit of Esau, man. It's almost like an itch. Yeah, yeah, man. They can't, they can't even, bro. They can't get a good night's rest without messing Jake over, man. That's why. That's why it's gonna be a beautiful thing to see Esau get destroyed, man. And also, just to show you, and just to show you that, uh, 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 just to show you how 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 subtle and crafty this guy is, it says what? Uh, 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 he does all that shit at night. Yeah. You know. You know. And then in the morning, he practices it. You know. He, he gets it. He, he gets it. To, he starts performing in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know. So what? He starts passing on his bills at night. You know. And then yeah. in the morning, yeah. wait, the, the, the law is going into effect. And Jake don't even be aware of it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's, that's right. We just show you that this this man he's crafty, and it really show you also that's his that's his strength. His 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 strength is his deceitfulness. You know, he doesn't have just like a, a scar and Mufasa. You know, scar scar strength was a uh, 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 his deceit. His deceit. You know, deception. his deception. He was, he was lying to the uh, uh, to the hyenas, <laughs> and he was lying to uh, 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 to the to the pack. You yeah. know, uh, 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 Simba killed Simba. Mufasa. You know. Everybody thought Simba, you know, Simba even thought himself, he thought he did it, you yeah. know? Scar's whole, whole, all right, was what? Deceitfulness? But he said what? When it comes to brute strength and, and basically being a man, he said that was a Mufasa's trait, you know? Go ahead. Yep. Now, this is uh, Psalms chapter 73, beginning in verse 5. It says they are not in trouble as other men, yeah. neither are they plagued like other men. Not at all. Yeah, because even, even in the so-called court system and the laws that they come up with, right, they don't hold that same standard, you know, to their people that they do to ours. Mm -hmm. man. You know? That's why that's why that Jake whooped her ass. <laughs> you know? Because he probably, hey, no, seriously, bro, hey, I, I'd have seen, I'd have been to court, bro. I, I, I've seen it from my own eyes, bro. A, 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 a so-called Edomite does, does the same crime as a Jake. Oh, okay, well, you know what? You, you got two weeks to get it together. Jake walk up to six months in jail. Maximum sentence you, can you know what I'm saying? Time. They give you the ultimate punishment, man. This dude not in trouble like us, man. You know? Well, this, this, this is kingdom. You know? Verse, verse six. Catch a flying elbow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, 
It says, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a garment. Mm -hmm. Like it says, pride compasses them uh, 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 about as a chain. Because look, they they think that just because they can get away with doing certain things that they don't get in, that they're not in trouble as other men. That ultimately, hey, that pride is uh, uh, rising up in them, or right, making them think they could get away with whatever, uh, uh, with with the things that they're doing, man. You know, but also, hey, what does Ecclesiastes the eight chapter say? Because sentence is uh, because sentence is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the son of man is fully set in, set in them to do evil. So ultimately, we understand that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is really building up the man's tap to hit him with that big backhand of judgment. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, because what does even Esau say? Even Esau says, "What the bigger thy are, the harder thy shall fall." Yep. You know. So what Esau is bigging up himself, making himself this big, gigantic, big uh, 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 kingdom, united mm -hmm. kingdom. And then what? When the Lord come, man, he gonna he gonna have a, a great uh, and, and magnificent fall. That's right, bro. Uh, you know, one hour because they, they think that their houses shall stand forever. Yeah. They think this place gonna keep going <laughs> on, bro. Yeah, we're talking 2028. Yeah, that's, that's right. They, that's why they got so. Much, that's why they got so much all that pride, man. Because what, the Lord hasn't really judged them, you know. Yep. The Lord hasn't really judged this place like that, you know. Ever since we became America, the Lord hasn't really judged this place, you know. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking that what they untouchable, yep. you know, because of what the brother had, uh, had brought out, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes eight and eleven, you know. So, uh, Psalm seventy three and six again says, therefore pride compasses them about as a charm. Violence covered them as a garment, right? Also, hey, we understand that this man's blessing was uh, the sword, so ultimately everything he does is through violence. You know? Verse 7, it says, Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. And when you go into that word fatness, it's pretty much going into the best parts, man. And we understand, hey, did not, uh, when Isaac gave Esau the blessing, did not he tell him that uh, he should have the fatness of the earth? Yep. See, Esau, he, inher he inherits the uh, best parts of on the earth as we speak, but even that's not enough for him. And by the sword thou shalt live. Conscious, by the sword thou shalt live. Okay, so ultimately, even with all the fatness of the earth, even with the best parts of the earth, hey, that's still not enough for Esau, because even the scripture in Habakkuk, the second chapter, says yep. what? The, uh, uh, he, he enlarges his desire as hell. You see, and hell is the grave, and there's no limit to the grave, man. There's no limit to how many bodies you can put in the grave. So, ultimately, what is that saying? The ultimately, there's no limit to Esau's desire. He wants every and anything, man. Back in the day, we used to call him the Grinch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Verse, verse, uh, verse eight. It says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. Hey, but, but hey, listen. Did, did even the Grinch repented. You know. Yeah, he did. Even the Grinch <laughs> repented. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Read that again, bro. Come on. Psalm seventy-three and eight. Select page. Flip on me again. It says uh, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lofty. You know, what's the main example of that? Uh, uh, uh for, forget slavery, but yep. never forget 9-11. Man, fuck 9-11, man. Yep. That's the judgment of the Lord, man. Yep. You know, yep. hey, 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 do, do not the scripture say that the issues of death belong to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, our Lord. So those individuals who died in 9-11, guess what? The Lord ordained for them to die. Right. But like the scripture say, y'all speak lawfully concerning oppression. Y'all, y'all just blow over slavery like it was nothing. Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all, y'all act like y'all just touched the people uh, uh, of, of no value. You, you Touch the apple of the most high's eye, man. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, like y'all to have hundreds of years in a race where you were ahead. Mm -hmm. You know? What is it called? Critical race? Critical race theory. Critical race theory, yeah. man. Slavery never happened. They volunteer. Who volunteers to be a slave? Uh, you know? And that's that's the mindset of this devil, man. God, that that that's also you know Esau. They trying to erase history, man. Because yeah. like we, like we were saying earlier, Esau Esau want to be painted as 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 Esau wanted to want to be painted as the uh, the Almighty, man. Like they they don't want to have no stain on on on, on their clothing, man. Like they haven't done anything, man. Yeah, man. They, they want they like I said, bro. They want everything to be in in, in the sight of the world. They want everything to be to make make it seem as if they're perfect, yeah. as if they're like God. You know, e e e even when you know, like people uh, uh, around the world, people say, "Oh, this is the land of the free." I I, I want to go to America. I want to go to America. You know, back in the 80s, 60s, everybody thought this was the place to be. But now the Lord is lifting that skirt and letting you know this, 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 these devils are wicked, man. Not only are they oppressing the Israelites, they're oppressing their own people. You know, yeah. they're oppressing their own people. They they they, they pass laws. To, 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 to keep the, uh, 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 
the low class, the low class. Yeah. Uh, and, and to keep the upper class, uh, uh, the upper class, man. Right. You know? A, a guy had uh, a guy had showed an, um, a, 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 a chart of all the billionaires and millionaires of their uh, net worth. And, it, and after COVID, after 2020, that shit like fucking tripled. Triple. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just to show you, you know, who, who was really benefiting a lot. And who was benefiting in those times. And guess what? The poor pay more taxes. Yeah. All right. Those 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 those, uh, uh, those high uh, level companies, they were making hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars and wasn't even paying taxes. You know, and, and they still getting tax cuts to this day. You know. You gotta, yeah, just one more verse. No uh, cuts, bro. They ain't paying. Got loopholes. Psalm seventy three and nine. It says they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Right, it says they set their mouth against the heavens. You know, scripture speak upon how this man was speaking blasphemies against the most high, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. It's spoken of in the Revelation of 13 chapter. There was given unto him a mouth speaking great things, even blasphemies. He's saying he's the most high. He's saying he's Yahweh Shai. Okay? He's saying he's the angels. He's saying he's the chosen people. And all that is falsehood, man. Yeah. And it's hey, he, 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 even in. <laughs> Even when calling this, this place the land of the free, I mean, uh, 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 this place uh, said they, they uh, uh, live after the Bible. Yeah, uh, 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 the Bible was the law of the land. Yeah, the Bible is the the water, bro. The, the the Bible is the law of the land, and everything about this land is is is, is against you. How about Shema Shai? All right, nothing that this devil does in this land is for the Lord. It's all against the Lord, man. All right, you got it. It says, uh, and their tongue walketh through the earth, right? So, uh, you know, Esau, he's trying to, you know, establish his legislation, his ways of life across the whole earth. And scripture saying in uh, uh, Psalms, hmm? New World Order. Con, con. Scripture saying in Psalms, the 37 chapter, I believe it is, that uh, I have seen the wicked and great power spreading himself like a, a green bay tree, roughly paraphrasing, meaning what? Esau, he's trying to spread his uh, 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 false ways of life. Our wicked doctrines and philosophies across mm -hmm. the whole earth because ultimately his end goal is dominion over the whole earth man over all the people all the nations yep. mainly jake God. that's it this is ezekiel chapter 25 starting at verse 12. thus saith the lord yahweh because that edom have dealt <coughs> against the house of, of judah by taking vengeance and have greatly uh, offended and uh, avenged himself Revenge. upon them, Revenge. revenged himself upon him. All right, so, hey, because, hey, like it was going into, you know, that perpetual hatred, you know, and that bloodshed, hey, guess what's going to happen to you, man? You're going to get the, uh, I, the scripture's going to get into it, but, hey, you're going to be uh, destroyed, man. Right. It's like the brother Amawan was saying, hey, this, you ain't touch no regular Joe Smoke, man. Hey, the most high, he said, he said, he said the nation of Israel is the apple of his eye, man. And something that's the apple, like I say all the time, something that's the apple of your eye, that's something that's important to you, man. That's uh, uh, your treasure, man. So just imagine, you know, hey, for those of you that have children, you know, and everybody got family that you care about. Just imagine somebody uh, putting hands on, on, on somebody that you care about, man. That's right. That, that brings, that brings a, 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 a a crazy uh you know wrath and rage man yep. and this is the creator we talking about so just how imagine how angry and, and pissed off he is man because you you touched his pride his prized possession man verse 13 <clears throat> therefore thus said thus saith the lord yahweh i will also stretch out my hand upon edom and i will cut off man and beast from it and I will make it desolate from teeming, and they of Danan the 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 shall fall by the sword. All right, so Esau, Esau is going to be, man, Esau, we so close to Esau meaning they, they, they demise, man. And like the scripture uh, we read earlier, man, it's going to be a beautiful thing to see the people that have been destroying our people for so long get 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 their revenge man and this it's gonna have to happen by that by bloodshed man because the book of numbers uh i believe it's 35 and 33 hey the only way that this land can be cleansed is by the blood that shed it man so hey, it's gonna have to be some bloodshed that go on man it's gonna have to be some destruction man y'all not finna just do what you did 
and think you finna get away scot-free. Last verse. 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of... Sorry, my phone went out. Uh, let me stop from the top. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Hey, man, bro. You, bro. Lord willing, we get to be some of them men that get to... Man, I get so excited thinking about it man that's one of my favorite scriptures man because i hate esau man the same way the most high hate esau hey we hate esau ass too man that's right hey it's gonna be man lord willing we get to be some of the men that get to destroy esau man to get put their ass in chains man <sighs> and they shall do and eat them according to 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 my anger they say he said he gonna do and eat them man that you, that's jake talk man he gonna do their ass in Oh, and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord, Yahweh. Man, it's gonna be so so much destruction, man, going on. Hey, you gonna know? You gonna know that? Hey, it was the power of the Most High that did this, man, to you. Cause like I said, man, hey, this ain't this ain't no this ain't no regular Joe Smo we talking about, bro. This this the uh, apple of the Most High's eye, man. Those things got to be paid back. You can't just do the things that you've done and not not get paid back for it, man. That's, that's it on that. Look at Amos chapter 1, verse 11. It says, Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and four and four, I will not turn away my punishment thereof. He say he's not going to turn away the punishment, man. So but whether, <laughs> whether it happened now or Lord willing, that's not the case. But whether it happened, you know, years from now hey you that that you're not gonna get away from it man you can't get away from that punishment man because that's what's set up for you man your destruction man your your slavery man you're gonna have to be put in them chains that's right it says because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did he did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever all right, y'all done had a perpetual, uh, everlasting hatred for the nation of Israel, man. You know, and you, you know, even now, you know, from back then until now, y'all ain't never had no pity on Jake right. at all, man. You, you, y'all done murdered Jake in cold blood for centuries, man. Centuries. That that that's gotta be, it, but that's gotta be some the ultimate hate, man. Yeah. And you know, you can you can feel you know when to eat them, you know. When I eat them, I hate you, cause you can you can feel it, man. They they got this certain look about them, man. And I can't wait to, Lord willing, hey, we get to be some of the men that get to wipe the look off your face, man. That that proud, arrogant look, man. Well, the say, uh, 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 man, uh, 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 I want to say pride should be brought low, and they look proud and arrogant. See, probably what he said. He said, OG haters. Mm -hmm. I gotta appreciate it. Got something after the other. This is uh. <laughs> Psalms 149 verse 5 it says let the saints be joyful in the glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praises of the most high be in their mouths and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punish upon the people to bind their kings with chains mm. and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written his, his honor hath all his saints. Ooh. Praise ye the Lord. That's right. Hey, man, I don't even need no explanation, oh. man. Hey, we gonna be joyous and happy to see hey, Esau meet their demise, man. Because like I said, you don't have, you don't have this hatred. Y'all been messing Jake over for centuries, man. Hey, it's gonna be, like I said, we've been saying this all day, man. We can't wait to see Esau meet their demise, man. Sure. To all, all the things that they done get paid back. Time, bro. That's the spirit of the year, man. That, we hasten in that day. All right? Then we're going to be able to put y'all in them chains. All right? Until you think about critical race theory. <laughs> that's, I can't, you know? man, that's why I can't stand of Esau loving Jake, man. Because y'all, Jake, they, they try to forget all these things that Esau has done like it didn't happen, man. I can't I can't stand that shit, man. Esau, Esau done did the, the most heinous things to the nation of Israel, man, and Jake choose to still kiss their ass, man. Was it, was it me, dude? Yeah, man. It's uh, Obadiah, uh, yeah, yeah. chapter 1, verse 10. For thy like violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and 
and thou shalt be cut off forever. And uh, jumping down to verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh hath spoken. Go ahead, bro. Kind of so also at the end of the day, hey, hey, Esau Edom's last, uh, Esau Edom's you know, end is just straight up no death and destruction, man. Sorry. Sound like annihilation to me. Yep, so right. complete eradication. Yeah. And what did, what did he say in concerning Amalek in number 24? He said uh, uh, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end uh, uh, is that he be destroyed rough and fair, friends. So also it's coming a point in time where Edom, man, it's not, Edom is not going to be a nation remembered in the face of the earth. It's Edom, it's Edom like, going to be wiped out completely. What it say in the book Isaiah says what they should be cast out of this abominable branch. Yep, kind. Right. They shall not uh uh what it says they shall not go with them. They shall say, what it say? They shall not they shall not uh 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 be with them in burial. Mm -hmm. You know, talking about the other nations, you know? Because eventually what we just read that what they're eventually gonna be uh 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 devoured and there no no more of the house of Esau should be left over, you know? So you're you, you gonna be into that. Go ahead. Uh, uh, right. I, that, that was it to that? Mm -hmm. Hey, Lord, well, let us add the family to the body with they want to give all praise, glory, and honor to. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakadash. The Lord, honest, our apostles, help us to bring us something, teach me well, be some best, and be safe to the hopeful elect. This is the truth we care, we count. Sincerity, charity, and love, and the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, with they want to say, Shalom. Shalom.